Interesting. Reiju stood on the edge of the white cloud's chariot, watching the rising landscape, holding her chin in one hand, with an expression of appreciation. Although with their memory metal armor and equipment, they can also easily fly into the sky, but never to the altitude of more than a kilometer. The air will start to get thinner, please be careful. Lafitte watched as they flew higher and higher and reminded Judge and others with a smile. Yes. Judge nodded as he also looked up into the sky. It now seems that the Ghost Hand Pirates base camp should be in the sky. This is really an unexpected thing. Although it is a little magical, it also meets the identity of the strongest Yonko, four emperors. Quickly. The white clouds came to the altitude of 8 kilometers, and the huge white cloud could already be seen floating which was 10,000 meters away from the ground and 2,000 meters away from them. Is this the legendary Sky Island? It really exists. Judge and others looked at the huge white cloud and spoke. They have heard about Sky Island more or less, but they have never seen it, so it became impossible for them to determine whether it really exists or not. Now it seems that Sky Island is not just a legend. The scenery is so beautiful. Reiju looked at the Sky Island burka that was gradually showing its looks and couldn't help but sigh, showing a touch of envy, she really wanted to live here for a while. The white cloud continued to rise, eventually reaching a landing site on the edge of Burka Island and Lafitte led several people up. This way. Without giving Judge and others much time to watch, Lafitte waved at Judge and others, leading several people to board Burka. Along the way, they encountered some Sky Islanders with wings who saluted Lafitte respectfully. In Burka Island, Lafitte and other captains are second only to Ross, as for the deputy captains of various teams, most of them have not been to Sky Island, or they are not qualified to set foot in Sky Island. Even if it is a captain, it is forbidden for them to set foot here without the permission of Lord Ross. Lafitte led the crowd to the Grand Palace in the center of Burka, and smiled at everyone as he spoke. This sentence was a bit of a serious reminder, which made Judge's mind a little surprised, and his expression became solemn. As for Niji and others, because they are special transform humans, there are no human emotions in them such as fear, and their expressions have not changed. Walking into the palace. A Sky Island girl with a delicate face, blonde hair, and bi-colored pupils came face to face to them and smiled at them and beckoned everyone to come in, she would lead the way. Oh oh, Angel? Niji and his two brothers saw the appearance of that Sky Island girl and they were all amazed by her looks and revealed an exaggerated expression. There was a hint of helplessness in Reiju's eyes. Keep it down, you three. Judge coolly reprimands his sons, who are perfect warriors in every respect except one, they have a lustful personality. In this respect, they are almost identical to Sanji. Yes. Niji and others are naturally fully obedient to Judge's orders. This is because they have been formulated to follow them from birth. They must not violate Judge's orders. In any case, they must protect Judge. In fact, Judge has never treated his sons with love, for Judge, it is equivalent to training a close believer. Under the guidance of the girl from Sky Island, several people went deep into the palace and passed through a delicate and magnificent pavilion, and came to an inner palace. Well, here they come. Ross had his hands crossed in front of him as he stood at the window on the side of the palace, and looked at the scenery on the Sky Island. He realized that Judge and others were coming and he turned his head and glanced at them calmly. Buzz. The look wasn't harsh, it was calm and unruffled, but a sudden burst of Haushoku Haki came over Judge and others. Wherever the Haushoku Haki went, the ground made of white cloud in the palace was faintly cracked. However, because the palace is built by island clouds, it has a strong toughness, and it recovers quickly after cracks, just like water flow. Well, under the pressure of Ross's Haushoku Haki, Judge's face changed and he began to feel that his breathing suddenly became heavy and he felt as if he was carrying a heavy giant mountain peak. At the same time, Niji and others' faces changed. Although they did not retreat because of this, there was a trace of cold sweat on their forehead. Haushoku, Haki, with three sweat stains on his forehead and a low murmur in his heart, Judge once again has a new definition of Ross's powers in his heart. Without any movement and just with his Haushoku Haki, they were already run to such a point that they almost lost their battle power. This is the most powerful man in the world, Ghost Hand Ross. The coercion of Haushoku Haki didn't last long and just a few seconds later, it disappeared silently and was taken back by Ross. By this time, Judge and others were already sweating. Especially Reiju, she is a very special existence as she is somewhat between Sanji and Niji and so on, while possessing human feelings, she also has a special physique and strong strength. 
It is also because she has the feelings of a normal person. When facing Ross's Haushoku Haki, she was more affected than Niji and others, and her clothes were soaked with sweat. That man, Reiju looked at Ross's figure, took a deep breath, and did not show any fear because of it. Instead, after Ross withdrew his Haki, she smiled softly. I like this Haki. Sit down. Ross walked over the window and motioned for Judge and others to find a place to sit. Judge slowed down and said, Your spirit and powers are really extraordinary, I apologize for the disturbance. Don't care. Ross casually came to the main seat and sat down. As a dignified Yonko, four emperors, he naturally had to show his powers a little bit. Akagami, red hair, went to Whitebeard and used Haushoku Haki first. He thought this method was very good, and one burst of Haushoku Haki was enough. Because Niji and others are transformed people, they have no fear of Ross but Ross's Haushoku Haki still put a lot of pressure on them. However, even if there are no feelings of fear, it does not mean that there are no other feelings, they still feel solemn about Ross's existence, and no one has made any presumptuous actions. Quietly, the Sky Island girl who had previously led Judge and others appeared with a tea tray in her hands and put down a few cups of freshly brewed Sky Island specific brewed tea on the table. Judge saw this and his expression slowed a little, and the tension in his heart subsided slightly. The strongest man in the world, and the identity of Yonko, four emperors, plus the Haushoku Hagi just now, they are all the things which are very stressful to his heart, but this cup of tea is served, it shows that Ross's attitude is not so cold. Is the tea unique to Sky Island? It tastes great? Reiju took a sip of tea and smiled at Ross. Things that were previously affected by Haushoku seem to be non-existent. Yes. Ross nodded and faintly smiled at Reiju and said, It is Sky Island's specialty, it is difficult for ordinary people to drink it. It must be said that Reiju's elegant manners and generous personality won her a little goodwill. At least it's better than Ichiji, Niji, and Yanji. Reiju smiled. Then I must cherish this opportunity to drink. Ross took a sip of tea and said, It's not something rare. If you stay here, you can drink it every day. Reiju smiled. Is that okay? Judge sat beside her and drank tea but he remembered something for Reiju. He was still thinking about how to get closer to Ross, but he didn't expect Reiju to do it easily. Of course, he was happy as he looked at this situation, and it was much better than talking to Ross directly. Ross smiled faintly, just as he was about to say something, a voice suddenly came from behind him. The eldest daughter of the Vinsmoke family, Vinsmoke Reiju, if I remember correctly, your ability seems to be poison? It's a really good ability to deal with the enemy. Robin came over and said with a smile. Ross paused with a teacup in his hand. He didn't need to look back, he could feel Robin's expression at the moment, her eyes were bent into a crescent shape, and there was a playful smile on her face. Is this Captain Robin? Reiju smiled and said, It seems that you have a thorough understanding of our intelligence, and it is an honor to be so valued by someone of your standing. The intelligence team is managed by me. I naturally need to have information upon the people who come to visit and it is also natural that I learn of their abilities. Robin tilted her head and smiled, her eyes were still like a crescent moon, and she sat down next to Ross. Ross sighed. Ignoring Robin and Reju, he looked at Judge and said, You came here this time, are you going to talk about the so-called cooperation? Judge, who is trying to figure out how to come up with ideas, is relieved that Ross has taken the initiative to get to the point. He also ignored the smiling Robin who looked at Reiju and Reiju who smiled back at Robin and said to Ross. Exactly. Since Captain Robin knows us so well, I suppose you know something about us, Lord Ross. Ross said casually. I have heard some of it, Judge said. I used to be a member of Scientific Force Base and worked with Vegapunk, but later separated because of some things, but I still worked on lineage factors and cloning technology. Judge said while spreading his right hand motioning Ross to look at Niji and Reiju, and the other two on his right, saying. A few of them are my children, and they are also the perfect works of science and technology. They are the most perfect fighters. Together with the equipment of science and technology, they can exert a great battle force. In addition to them, I can also make clone soldiers who have beyond normal physique, they are not afraid of death, and they absolutely obey orders. This is also the power that countless North Blue nations fear. Speaking of this, Judge's tone reveals a hint of pride. Although the power he possesses cannot be compared with New World's top level forces, it can be said that it is difficult for any ordinary country to deal with his forces. He was able to defeat even the ordinary forces of the New World, 
Once, he helped the kingdom army of a country in the New World to destroy the rebellion provoked by the revolutionary army. It's very nice, but you're also on the receiving end of something the world government would love to have, Ross says in a neutral tone. Compared to Judge, the resources held by the world government are undoubtedly incomparable to any power. Once they get Judge's technology, they would be able to make clone soldiers in large quantities, and even mass produce combat powers such as Ichiji and Niji. Ordinary clone soldiers are okay, but Ichiji, Niji, and others are not weak. If they are produced in large quantities, it will undoubtedly be an extremely terrible core. That's exactly what I want to say. Judge's tone became somewhat depressing, saying, The government wants what I have studied for my whole life, but they will not let me rule North Blue, so I will not give them something that is mine for free. Judge has no ambition to rule the entire world. His highest goal is to rule the North Blue and let Germa stand at the peak of North Blue. If the world government agrees with Judge's rule over North Blue, he is willing to surrender his lineage factor technology and cloning technology. But, the world government will not allow any single force to dominate North Blue, the Gorosei, five elder stars, will absolutely not stand for this. So this transaction can never be established. If you want to dominate North Blue, you must rely on your own strength or other forces. Obviously, it is difficult to rule alone but with the help of the Ghost Hand Pirates, Judge sees a glimmer of possibility. If he can get the support of Ross and the support of Ghost Hand Pirates, with his cloning technology and a Yonko force, he would be able to rule North Blue. So you plan to trade with me? Ross took a sip of tea and said lightly, you want to use my power to deter all forces, to discourage the world government, and to use the Ghost Hand Pirates resources to dominate North Blue. Judge was not embarrassed by Ross's words, because all of this was already obvious. He solemnly said, this is indeed my idea, but at the same time, my power will also be put into your hands. With clone soldiers and scientific power, you can have an army in a short time. An army that will obey orders without questions, an army that will charge at any enemy without fear. Whether it is governing the Toto Land Sea or expanding outward to conquer other countries, you can use them. Judge still hopes to gain more autonomy. He doesn't mind being attached to the Ghost Hand Pirates, but he hopes to have a role similar to that of a prince. It sounds pretty good, Ross said lightly, but your strength is not necessary for me, this is an unequal transaction. And, you guys are here, if I destroy you here, I can take over your power. In a bland tone, Ross spoke words that were extremely threatening. Judge looked pale and said, if we die here, the clone soldiers will commit suicide after destroying all data on the technologies. Then I can detain you all here. I have some interest in the modification of the bloodline factor, and you are well placed to study it. Ross said lightly. Why bother? Reiju said suddenly. She looked at Ross and whispered, We will send it with both hands, and all we need is just your shelter. Really, with both hands? Ross stood up and walked in front of Reiju and stretched out a finger to drew her chin and said, What if I want you? Cough. Robin coughed. Ross pretended not to hear her. Reiju didn't show any resistance but smiled gently and looked up at Ross, and said, I can't be the one to decide that, it depends on whether my father agrees. Judge looked at Ross strangely, his thoughts flashed quickly, and said, Lord Ross, you, aren't you married yet? He suddenly thought that Ross seemed to be in his twenties? Because Yonko, four emperors, and the strongest names in the world are too dazzling, covering up the fact that Ross is extremely young. Thinking at this moment, Judge suddenly felt that it seemed possible to start from this point. If Reiju can, oh, what do you want to say? Ross turns around and looks at Judge with a half smile. Does he still want to be his father in law? Is this person that crazy? Judge's eyes touched Ross's expression and he froze for a moment, thinking of Ross's identity again. After a little struggle in his heart, Judge resolutely said, If Lord Ross is willing, I think Reiju will be willing to serve you. The perfect work of the bloodline factor is only Reiju and Ichiji, Niji, and Yanji. If he had to hand over one, there are only three left, which can be described as a bit of heartache. But if this can be exchanged for Ross's support for Germa, allowing him to dominate North Blue, it is totally acceptable. Shout! No one noticed that Reiju let out a gentle gasp as Judge uttered the words. There was still a smile on her face, but no matter how she looked, the smile was a little sad. She didn't feel surprised when Judge made such a decision. At this time, she suddenly thought of Sanji and didn't know how Sanji is now, is he still alive? 
She has very few feelings for the Vinsmoke family in which she has three brothers without human feelings, and a so-called father who only values, strength and interests. Fine. Ross just said it casually, but he didn't expect Reju and Judge to agree to his words. Now that this is the case, that's how it is. He had planned to bring Jerma 66 over, otherwise he wouldn't let Judge and others set foot on the island. Robin glanced at Ross but said nothing. Speaking of the understanding of Ross, I am afraid that no one can surpass her anymore, sometimes Ross and she will suddenly quarrel a few times. He didn't think through his brain at all, he just came to think of anything, he didn't consider the consequences in advance and she was already used to it. It's just that. Why did she suddenly have the urge to use her signature 100 rounds of flower slap technique on Ross? Well, this is really the way of life for Germa. Judge saw Ross agree and although his attitude was a little bland, he still smiled. The existence of Ross, the dignified Yonko, four emperors, his style of conduct is extremely overbearing, and the thing Ross had promised will naturally be delivered. From today, Germa 66 is classified as the 8th Division. Ross said arbitrarily, you will be the captain. Other deputies and the like are up to you, and the management is yours. Ross also does not plan to intervene in managing Germa 66, nor does he intend to insert his own people into a large group of modified people such as Germa 66. As long as he can command and move them at any time, that's enough. Ross is an emperor, he can throw the training of people towards Judge. That couldn't be better. Judge naturally has no opinion on this, and even wants to shake Ross's hand in gratitude. After Ross spoke, he turned to look at Reju again, and said, Then Reju will stay here, as a liaison between me and Jerma, you can report anything to her. In addition, the clone troops on Toto land will also be led by her. Now that he's decided to keep Reju, Ross isn't going to waste her talents and he will use her as the go between between the Ghost Hand Pirates and Jerma 66. Jerma 66 would be staying in North Blue for a long time. Only a few clones will be left on the Toto land sea. The clones on this side will be led by Reju and she would be responsible for the governance of Toto Lancy. Her personality also reassured Ross. People like Shilyu of the Rain are not fit to run a country. No problem. Judge nodded and he was happy to see that happen. Reju will lead the cloning forces in Toto Land and can talk directly to Ross. This status is not as close as that of the captains of Ghost Hand Pirates but it is second only to them. That way he won't have to worry about what might happen to him in North Blue and he can receive information about the Toto Land. Ross didn't bother Judge and looked at Reju, waiting for her answer. Judge realized this and turned to look at Reju. Reju, what do you think? Asking her is equivalent to ordering her. Reju can't disobey his order, this sentence just reminds Reju to answer. That's fine with me. Reju calmly responded, it's my honor to be the liaison and the head of this side. Ross glanced at Reju. Although she didn't reveal anything on the surface, Ross could detect the change in her heart. This is the partial perception of the emotional aspect after observation hockey reached the extreme state. Ross doesn't know if this is the legendary voice of all things, but even if it is, it is probably only at the basic level stage, because he can't interpret Poneglyph by observation hockey. At best, it is a slight capture of other people's inner emotions, such as anger, sadness, and pain. Then we are done here. Ask Lafitte for the resources you need, Ross says to Judge and others. I want to have a clone army in Toto land that is good enough for me within half a month. You can rest assured. Judge laughed. Science can't go wrong, as long as there are enough resources, such a perfect army can be produced at will. As he talked, he gazed at Ross and said goodbye, and at the same time gave Reju instructions calmly. This order naturally allowed her to stay here with Ross. While obeying Ross, observe more of the situation here and report to him at any time. Without waiting for Reju's response, Judge took Niji and the other two out of the palace. Reju sat there, holding the teacup and sipping the tea gently, as if she hadn't received her instructions from Judge, or didn't want to bother. Robin looked at Reju and shook her head slightly. She felt a little sympathy for Reju at this moment. After all, Jerma's intelligence was in her hands. She knew the origins of Reju and others and knew about Judge's personality. Now Reju is equivalent to being traded as an item. Anyone who encounters this situation will not be very happy. Ross looked at Reju's lowered brows and walked past her naturally, whispering in her ear. Want to know what happened to Sanji? Reju's eyes froze and she looked up at Ross. Ross straightened up and smiled faintly at her. Come with me, I'll tell you. 
With that, Ross moved forward, not looking back to see what Reiju was doing. Reiju's face flashed with surprise, disbelief, and so on, but she eventually followed Ross and followed him out of the palace. Sanji. The third child who died, there was a flash of surprise in Robin's eyes. With observation hockey, she could hear what Ross said to Reiju, and Ross didn't try to hide it from her. Of all the information she has gathered about Germa, only a few words were written about Sanji, the third son of the Vinsmoke family died young in the war. A normal person would probably ignore this sentence, but because she had such a strong memory, it came back to her in a flash. Listening to Ross's tone, it seems that, Sanji, is not dead, there is something else hidden in this matter? Thinking about this, Robin was even more surprised and she wondered where Ross had gotten this news from. This has been the case for a long time. Ross always knows a lot of things. Now she is in charge of the entire Ghost Hand Pirates intelligence unit. All intelligence must pass through her. She is also the only source of intelligence for Ross. She doesn't know this intelligence, how did Ross know? The more she worked with Ross, the more she learned about him, the more she felt that Ross was hiding something else from her. But if Ross doesn't say something, she won't ask, she'll guess and do her job, it's her responsibility. Sky Island Burka. At the very top of this towering palace, Ross's figure walked up the spiral corridor and reached the highest point, overlooking the entire Sky Island in clouds. Reiju's figure followed Ross's back and slowly climbed to the top of the palace. So, Sanji is still alive, hearing a little information from Ross, her eyes flashed a tenderness. Although she hasn't been able to find any news about Sanji for a long time, she has always felt that Sanji might be alive, but now her feeling has been verified. As for whether Ross was lying to her, she didn't think about it at all. Once because of Ross's identity, and secondly, Ross had known the name, Sanji. Although she didn't know how Ross knew this. Well, he is still alive. If nothing unexpected happens, you can meet him again in the future. Ross stood with his hands behind his back, looking far into the clouds. If nothing unexpected happens, Sanji will join the Straw Hat Pirates and the Straw Hat Pirates will break through the Grand Line, participate in the War of the Best and arrive at New World. But unfortunately, Luffy's dream may not be realized, because Ross will not allow a Pirate King to appear in this world. He is Yonko, Four Emperors. Being a Pirate King means being above him which is clearly impossible. After he overthrows the world government, he will calm down the world and will not allow the pirate king to appear. Unless, Luffy was able to run to Raftel before he overthrew the world government and find the so-called One Piece. Can I really meet him again? Reiju's eyes flickered and murmured, Ross's words had given her enough thoughts. Ross looked at the clouds in the distance and stared at the golden ray of the sun that is crossing the edge of the white clouds, then looked away and looked at Reiju. He watched Reiju think a little and suddenly he felt a little curious about Reiju's body and he released his observation hockey's careful perception. Lineage factor, this is another scientific product. Reiju noticed Ross's gaze and Ross's perception. When she turned her head to look at Ross, she did not avoid it, but instead tilted her head and asked. What is Lord Ross looking for? I'm a little curious about what is the so-called lineage factor is. Ross didn't hide his intentions and spoke with one hand on his chin. Reiju shook her head and said, I don't know much about this, my father never told us detailed things. As for the core technology of the lineage factor, Judge has it firmly in his own hands, and he didn't even disclose it to Reiju and others, or it did not make sense to disclose it. He doesn't need to train Reiju and others into scientists, he just needs them to follow orders and be a powerful warrior. Oh! Ross touched his chin and didn't doubt Reiju's words. After staring at Reiju for a few more eyes, he beckoned at Reiju and motioned for Reiju to come over. Undeterred, Reiju came over, smiling gently and letting Ross look at her. Ross put his hand on Reiju's shoulder, his fingers touched her skin, and he applied a little force to feel the hardness of her bones, which was completely different from ordinary people. Lineage factor modification. This is not so-called mechanized transformation, but something similar to genetic modification, which is the root of the strengthening. Well, Reiju's eyes frowned as she felt a little pain, but she did not avoid it. Ross didn't press harder anymore either. He let go of his hand thoughtfully and ran his fingers across Reiju's skin again, and finally looked in her eyes. There is a little mucus on his fingers, poison? Ross frowned slightly and asked Reiju. Reiju's ability is poison and he still knows it well. Reiju shrugged and said innocently. Instinctively, accidentally, 
Do you need me to detoxify you? No need. Ross shakes his head and clears the mucus from his fingers with a pinch of power of distortion. Raju's poison is so ineffective for his physique today that it can't even numb his fingers. One only needs to know that he is not inferior to 100 Beast Kaido today, even if it is Magellan's poison, it would only be able to numb him. I should say, as expected of a Yonko, four emperors. Raju looked at Ross's finger and her eyes flickered lightly, she could naturally see that her poison had not affected Ross at all. Although the poison was not used by her in full force, it was just an instinctual reaction, but Ross could ignore the toxin, and even if she ignites it fully, I am afraid that it will not affect Ross. Your constitution is interesting. Ross smiled slightly at Reju. He knew something about Reju's constitution, but he could not know it in such an external way in more detail. So does yours. Reju also smiled. Ross stroked his chin and thought for a moment, saying, things like bloodline factors, although they can give you extraordinary strength from birth, it also curbs your potential, how unfortunate. Hum? Reju looked at Ross without understanding. Ross explained calmly. Everyone's potential is the same. Those who are born with strong physiques are just born with a lot of potentials. Marines Vice Admiral Garp and Whitebeard, they are really strong people who are pushing their potential almost to the limit. And the way you use the lineage factor, although you were born with great power, the potential of belonging to humans is also curbed. It will be more difficult for you to develop and it will not even be possible to reach the limits of humans like Garp or Whitebeard. Reju looked thoughtful and said, I see. This lineage factor sacrifices the future to shape the present. Although it is almost impossible for the average person to fully develop their physical potential, it is even more difficult for them after being transformed by lineage factors. The way forward has been fixed, and the limits of strength have been fixed. She can feel that since the age of 16, her strength has not improved in a long time. Don't you feel discouraged? Ross looked at Reju and asked with a smile. Reju smiled and said, Heroes like Garp and Whitebeard are just a few in the world. If there was no transformation of lineage factors, maybe I would not be any better than ordinary people now. Not everyone has the idea to be the strongest in the world. Many people have never had this idea, and it is even more impossible to become the strongest, after all, they have denied this themselves. It's hard to say. Ross shook his head, if Reju didn't have her lineage transformation, she might be as good as the current Sanji, who is still a chef at a sea restaurant. But this is also inaccurate. Maybe she can continue to break her physical limits and make rapid progress all the way and may have stronger strength than now. Reju's current strength is inferior to Lafitte, Robin, and others, and it is not much different from the deputy captain of various teams. World Government. Holy Land Marijoy. Jerma came in contact with the ghost hand Ross. That Vinsmoke judge, is he going to turn to a Yonko, four emperors? Gorose, five elder stars and others received the intelligence of the meeting between Jerma 66 and the ghost hand pirates and all of their expression twisted. Regarding the science and technology mastered by Judge, their attitude is not as desperate as Judge thinks, but they do have an optional attitude towards him. Because Vegapunk had fully researched Judge's technology and Vegapunk's research now is much stronger than Judge's technology. Named Pacifista, the mechanical transformation man is extremely powerful and it is only the first generation. Vegapunk is now studying the second generation and even plans to add Kazaru's laser capabilities to it. In the face of Pacifista, Judge's clone technology is just garbage. But, although Gorose, five elder stars, has an optional attitude towards Judge's technology, they do not want to see others get this technology, especially the Ghost Hand Pirates. The greatest threat to them today is undoubtedly the Ghost Hand Pirates. Although the current Ghost Hand Pirates do not have the ability to directly confront the government, it is already extremely difficult for them to destroy the Ghost Hand Pirates. And, he is different from other Yonko, four emperors. The management of the Toto land by the Ghost Hand Pirates made Gorose, five elder stars, and others feel gloomy. Their governance method is completely different from other pirates, it seems nothing to the average person, but to Gorose, five elder stars, it shows Ross's ambition. Ross is not willing to be a pirate, he wants to build a real government. That technology cannot be obtained by the ghost hand pirates. We seem to be unable to stop it. The Gorose, five elder stars, argued with each other with angry and helpless expressions on their faces. Although the cloning technology is nothing, if it is obtained by the ghost hand pirates, it can still become a little more powerful. After all, 
it can sharpen the already sharpened fangs. Let's give it a try, let our people stop Germa. Going to Toto Lansi to deal with Germa is obviously whimsical, but if Germa leaves Toto Lansi, they can try it. Half a month passed quickly. Within half a month, Germa 66 was attacked by Marine, but Lafitte and Shilyu of the Rain were there, defeating Marine's troops. At this time, the world government also announced that Germa 66 colluded with the pirates and has been removed from the world government subordinates. Judge wasn't surprised about this situation and he was ready. It is precise because of the announcement of the world government that Germa has been completely labeled with ghost hand pirates. It didn't take long for Germa to be listed as the ghost hand pirates subordinates of the 8th division which was the scientific force base and this news spread throughout the world. Germa did not become a target for various other forces because it was expelled from the world government as no one dared to mess with it for a while. After all, the ghost hand pirates recently defeated the whitebeard pirates. While Ross became the strongest in the world, the ghost hand pirates also became the most terrible force in the pirate world. Many people are not afraid of world government because they are in collusion with the officials within the government, as long as their fault is not exposed to the government and they do not offend Gorosei, five elder stars, the rulers of world government, the world government is totally indifferent to minor crimes. But, the pirate faction is different, they don't care about anything and if you provoke them then they may come knocking on your door the next day. In this way, half a month passed in a hurry and a group of clone troops appeared in Toto Lansi, led by Reiju who is responsible for the management of three medium-sized islands and six small islands in Toto Lansi. In addition to the expansion of the seven teams during this period, there was no longer a shortage of staff. Sky Island Burka. Inside the palace. The shift devil fruit, did you gave it to Dean? Ross sat there peeling the fruit and casually listening to Robin's report. Dean is one of the giants and he can be regarded as the elite among them. In the previous battle with the Whitebeard Pirates, he also has a lot of merits. Although he is far inferior to Sand Giant and others, he is far superior to other giants. And, Dean also followed Ross long before any of the deputy captains and other members did. There is no objection to the merit of the battle, the qualification of the seniority, and he gave the shift devil fruit to him. Yes, there is another cadre in the giant core. Robin nodded, she also knew the power of the shift shift fruit, and Dean who ate this fruit suddenly soared a lot through the ranks. Due to the special nature of the shift shift fruit, his power is close to being stronger when it is stronger. The only thing he lacks is the two-color hockey. However, he is also struggling to improve on it. Do we still have no news about the soul soul fruit? Ross threw Sky Island's specialty fruit into his mouth and asked Robin. Robin shook her head. By the way, a newcomer pirate recently refused the Shichibukai invitation from the world government. Oh, Ross hasn't followed Shichibukai for a long time, but Robin occasionally reports to him. Shichibukai can still enter his eyes, especially Hawkeye, the greatest swordsman in the world, whose strength is still unknown. The point is, this newcomer pirate is a Logia user. The giant pirate group was built with Logia devil fruits. This was Ross's plan from long ago, so if someone with Logia's ability appeared, she would report to Ross. This happened to be that both Logia and Shichibukai were involved, and naturally there was no reason not to notify Ross. Robin took out a wanted poster and put it on the coffee table in front of Ross, saying. This newcomer has a 400 million berries bounty on his head, he is known as, Firefist, Ace. Oh, it's him. Ross had already guessed about the person when he heard about Logia user. It is now the great age of pirates 19th year, it was in this year that Ace went out to the sea. He quickly broke through the first half and became the super rookie of that generation. He even rejected Shichibukai's invitation and set foot in the new world. Finally, he tasted defeat at Whitebeard's hands and no longer wanted to be the pirate king himself and switched to Whitebeard's subordinates. Where is he now? Ross asked casually as he looked at the familiar face on the wanted poster. Robin said. He went to Fishman Island, but did not cause trouble in the Fishman Island, and should be able to go to New World soon. So, Ross thought for a moment and said, keep an eye on him. Now that the BIGMOM pirates has been destroyed by himself, the course of Firefist Ace may change. Just Ace, a newcomer is not worthy of Ross's attention, but his identity is not ordinary. He is the son of the pirate king Roger and grandson of Garp of Marine. He can even involve Akagami, Red Hair, and Rayleigh. Understood. Robin nodded. New World, somewhere near the surface of the Red Line. 
Suddenly the sea surged, and a huge bubble emerged from the water, enclosing a ship inside, and as the hull completely floated to the surface, the bubble also broke and cracked. Oh, we are finally out. On the ship's deck, a young man in a fur cap stretched his arms vigorously. He stretched out a finger to help the crooked fur cap, and there was a ray of flame on his finger, and his identity was self-evident. Flame Flame Fruit Ability User Fire Fist Ace My body is fire. I feel uncomfortable surrounded by water. Boss, where shall we go next? Ace's crew came over, experiencing the sea breeze of New World, and asked Ace. Ace glanced at the distant sea and a gleam of light flickered in his eyes and he smiled, I want to go to and find Akagami, red hair, first, and then. Two months later. About 12,000 meters high. Ross is exercising his body by using Gepo, Moonwalk, and exerting gravity distortion, pressing it on his body and stomping on the air with his feet. Because of the strengthening brought by the talent system as an additional bonus, his physique can still continue to improve, and it must be improved. If not, even if he had enough talent points, he would not be able to increase his power of distortion with a distortion fruit, for his body would not be able to bear it. Ross's gravity distortion is now fully activated, and even though it is not as good as Fujitora's in terms of gravity, it is extremely terrifying. And to perform Gepo, Moonwalk, in such conditions is putting an extremely terrifying pressure on his body. And this is a height of 12,000 meters, the air here is thin. The CP9 guys would have been unable to stand up straight, let alone walk, under the pressure of gravity, and performing Gepo, Moonwalk, would have been impossible for them. Purapurapuru. As Ross continued to use Gep, Moonwalk, his clothes soaked with sweat, the Den Den Mushi sounded. Ross lifted his feet and stomped and the empty space was struck by a loud explosion, leaving a layer of visible waves in the aftermath. At the same time, he conceded the pressure of gravity and stopped using Gepo, Moonwalk, and remained suspended in the air, and took out the Den Den Mushi. What's up? Ross asked in a deep voice. Coming to the sky to exercise is a compulsory class every day and everyone is forbidden from disturbing him for ordinary small things. Fire Fist Ace entered the Toto land. Robin's voice was heard from the other end of the Den Den Mushi as she gave out an extremely brief report. Ross's expression paused for two seconds, he rubbed his neck making a kacha kacha sound and turned the Den Den Mushi off. Subsequently, he turned his head and headed down, he raises his foot and stomps the air that created a sonic boom. He charges into the Sky Island Burka at a very fast speed. Whiz. Just like a falling meteor, the distance of 2 kilometers is just around the corner. At the moment of landing, Ross changes the direction of gravity and lifts his feet to release the force. Eventually, he fell into the huge cloud paved courtyard in the island and the island cloud at his foot rippled. Walking across the courtyard to the palace, Robin was already waiting here, holding a clean dress in her hand. Ross walked into the bathroom and took off his sweat-soaked clothes and rinsed briefly, then he walked out of the bathroom and took over the clothes in Robin's hands. Did we fight with our people? Ross asked Robin as he dressed. Robin tilted her head and said, well, it seems that he is trying to challenge you. Firefist is not weak. The average person is not his opponent. Lafitte has gone there. Ross buttoned a button as he heard Robin's report and said calmly, Lafitte may not win against him. He may not win, but he won't lose either. Robin holding a black cloak came to Ross's behind to drape the cloak over Ross's back, and said, Shilyu of the rain is planning to go over. Shilyu will be able to defeat him. Ross shook his head and said, I'll go by myself. Okay. Robin responded neatly and picked up the Den Den Mushi to inform Shilyu of the situation. Shilyu, who just wiped his blade, heard that Ross was going to go in person and he couldn't help shaking his head, and put the blade down again. He wanted to have some fun but Ross has grabbed the opportunity. But there is no way. Ross is the boss, Toto Land. Somewhere on a medium-sized island, the original cookie city town. In the streets of the little town, a figure bathed in flames confronts Lafitte dressed as a magician. Boss, that guy is a division captain of the Ghost Hand Pirates. Demon Sheriff Lafitte, behind Ace, his crew reminded Ace gravely. Captain. Ace's hat was burning with a flame and a somewhat confident smile appeared on his face as he said, before dealing with your boss, let me practice on you first. Ho 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 ho, how young. Lafitte wasn't angry and instead, he showed a smile and slightly raised his head before saying, there are many people who challenge our captain, 
but a large part of them can't even see Captain's face. It's been a while since the Ghost Hand Pirates had become Yonko, four emperors, occasionally, some supernova, who conquered the first half of the Grand Line would come to challenge them. However, most of the newcomers can't even pass the level of deputy captain. Sometimes they can't even see the division captains, let alone challenge Ross. Because of Ace's reputation in being the strongest supernova in recent years, he is a very powerful newcomer of this generation. All other pirates in the same generation must be overtaken by Ace. Coupled with his Logia Devil Fruits ability, Lafitte chose to come over in person instead of sending a deputy captain. Oh! Ace smiled and said, but there will always be someone who can break it all. Fire Fist! The moment his voice fell, Ace's eyes flashed and the flame of his right fist burst, waving at Lafitte. A blazing flame swept across the street at once, slamming against Lafitte. It is indeed Logia's ability. Lafitte's eyes narrowed slightly as he jumped decisively to the top of a roof, avoiding Ace's frontal attack. At the same time, he pulled out his handguns around his waist and fired at Ace continuously. See, 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 three bullets wrapped Ain armament hockey flew out. As a Logia user, Ace is almost invincible in the first half of the Grand Line and he often ignores the attacks of others directly. But in the New World, he had already come in contact with Hockey and it was clear that New World's people were very different from his opponents in the first half. Whiz! Ace did not hesitate and decisively chose to dodge. However, the angle of Lafitte's bullet shot was tricky, and there was still a scratch on Ace's shoulder, tearing his clothes, leaving a scar on his skin. If this had happened in the first half of the Grand Line, Ace would have been surprised when this happens, but it is not a surprise in the New World. His face sank slightly and his fingers moved in a gesture of guns. Fire guns. Bang 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 bang. The fingers instantly turned into flames, like the guns of the hand, shooting flames toward Lafitte. Lafitte shook his cloak and took out his red wooden cane and wriggled like paper through the flames, avoiding them all. Was that observation hockey? Ace's eyes flickered slightly, but it seemed that he had already expected this and a trace of a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Like Luffy and others, he is a clueless person, but in the process of battle, he doesn't know whether it's a talent or something else, but he can often grasp a lot of details. Burst. As Ace read the situation, a slightly different flame suddenly burst out as it passed by Lafitte. The flames instantly turned into a raging fire. Lafitte's complexion changed slightly, he jumped decisively and escaped towards the distance, and immediately tore off his lighted cloak and threw it onto the street below. Can sense my attack, or am I being careless? Ace said and waved his arms and the two flames waved away as if the two sword energy hit Lafitte. Lafitte frowned slightly and retreated under Ace's strength. He doesn't have a wide range of attack methods, and Ace's fire can hurt him, and he doesn't want to fight Ace in close range. For long range combat, the Logia ability of Flame Flame Fruit can undoubtedly prevail over his attacks. Great. Many of Ace's crew members who were watching not far away looked at Ace with great respect. The Yonko, four emperors, pirates are not so powerful. Yeah, a division captain, whose name scared countless people is noting in front of Ace. Because they had seen Akagami, red hair, with Ace before and had a party with the Akagami, red hair, pirates, they have no fear towards a Yonko, four emperors. Now looking at Ace showing his mighty power, forcing Lafitte to keep avoiding him, they all smiled. However, Lafitte, who was constantly avoiding Ace's attacks, looked calm. He just didn't want to fight with Ace in close range but it did not mean that he wasn't without resistance nor was he overwhelmed. Whiz! Seizing a chance, Lafitte rushed towards Ace and punched him. His fist instantly clung to armament hockey, and it became dark and hardened. Ace wasn't afraid and a fire fist waved towards Lafitte. Bang! A fiery flame exploded in the field. Lafitte backed out quickly in the flames, not wanting his clothes to be burned by the flames. Ace kept his fists and the flames tumbling fiercely, he roared and continued to rush towards Lafitte. Armament hockey can either be strong or weak. Lafitte's armament hockey is not strong, he is better at Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey. He is a bad matchup against any Logia devil fruit abilities, especially the flame flame fruit. Will we fight till one of us consume all of our stamina? Lafitte avoided the flames that Ace swept over and continued to step back, shaking his head slightly. Since his armament hockey attacked Ace's fire fist and was weaker in attack, then he could only rely on his observation hockey to find a chance for an attack, or fight till Ace consumes his stamina. 
However, the stamina of Logia Devil Fruit users are all perverted, they use powerful abilities and their consumption of stamina is very low, much lower than those of Paramisha ability users. However, after retreating from Lafitte, Ace did not continue to attack, but looked at Lafitte from afar. Why, aren't you planning on doing anything except retreat? He raised his head, his arms still burning with flames, and said, if you don't think you can win, call your boss as soon as possible. Lafitte's expression sank when he heard this and a heart-wrenching expression appeared on his face. It doesn't matter what the rest of it is, he can treat him as a kid if he wants to, but if he wants to call Ross out, he can't pretend that he didn't hear such words. Can't deal with Firefist, call Ross? You must be kidding? Who the hell does this kid think he is? I just can't pretend that I didn't hear it. Lafitte's face showed a dark expression, however. Just when he was about to start, he suddenly noticed something and turned to look at the sky behind him. He saw a dark shadow breaking through the distant sky from at a very fast speed, like a meteor, and fell to this island. At the same time, Ace also noticed the appearance of the dark shadow and looked up into the sky and his eyes flashed with a strange light. What is that? Many of the crew members behind him also subconsciously looked into the sky and saw the dark shadow falling down. One second, two seconds, three seconds, the shadows were getting closer and closer and as it was about to reach over the city town, it disappeared strangely, like black flashes. What the? Ace frowned as he watched the dark shadow suddenly disappear from his sight. Many other crew members also showed inexplicable expressions. They were just looking at the dark shadow and it disappeared in front of their eyes. But when they strangely retracted their gazes and looked back at Lafitte, they all stopped. They saw that a figure had appeared behind Lafitte without them knowing. I didn't notice him at all. Ace looked at the figure and there was a hint of alertness in his eyes. He didn't even realize how the shadowy figure had appeared. At a slight pause in breathing and a change in complexion, Lafitte stopped his darkened expressions and saluted the newcomer. Lord Ross. I didn't expect you to come here in person. Ross. Ghost Hand Ross. There is no need to talk too much, just one word had already make Ace's crew members breathe heavily. There stood the most powerful man in the world, Captain of the Ghost Hand Pirates, Ghost Hand Ross. Although they have all seen the wanted poster of Ross, no one expected that this man, who is called the most dangerous existence in the world, looks no different from ordinary people. They could not help but think of Akagami, Red Hair. While having a party with the crew of Akagami, Red Hair, they were all wondering, is this guy really a Yonko, four emperors, of New World? Wearing wooden trousers, stubborn beard, shirt buttons loosened, he had no image at all. If you compare him with Akagami, Red Hair, it seems that Ross actually had some standards. Are you, Ghost Hand? Looking at Ross, Ace spoke with a smile on his face. Since going to the sea, he has not encountered any person who could defeat him along the way, and he had almost swept the entire first half off the Grand Line. The world government tried to use Shichibukai's position to solicit him, but he rejected it directly, and he didn't care. After visiting Akagami, Red Hair, he had only one goal. Win against the strongest person in the sea, and now. He finally came to Ross, or Ross appeared to him. Yes. Aren't you looking for me? I'm here. Ross turned around, facing Ace directly, his gaze remained on him for a brief amount of time, Ace looked no different from his memory. Ace took a breath and the figure of his mother and the pirate king flashed in his mind, the goal and answer he was looking for. All this passed away in an instant, he looked at Ross, his eyes filled with fighting intent as he said. Then, let's have a fight, Captain Ace, seeing that Ace directly challenged Ross, many of his crew members swallowed their saliva. Although Ross looks no different from ordinary people, his reputation of the strongest is still there. However, they have followed Ace all the way here and they never saw Ace lose to anyone. Ghost Hand Pirate's high-level cadre and the division Captain Lafitte was also completely suppressed by Ace just now. Maybe, Ace can defeat Ross, as the newcomers who have just stepped into the New World, they have not really experienced the power of New World. In their eyes, as long as they win against Ross, they will reach the pinnacle of the sea. Although this is indeed the case, they are only seeing the tip of the iceberg of the power possessed by a Yonko, four emperors, in the real new world. It's way too early for you to compete against me. Ross had his hands on behind his back as he looked at Ace and said quietly, you are too anxious. For the vast majority of pirates, they have grown quickly in the first half, but their journey in the new world has been extremely slow. 
The more power increases, the harder it is to grow. It may only take a few years to reach the level of Marine Rear Admiral, but it may take more than a decade to reach the level of Vice Admiral. Even if he has extremely high talents and tried his best to train, it took him six years to climb to the position of a Yonko, four emperors. What about Ace? Planning to reach that position within a year. Do you refer to moving towards your goal as anxious? Ace hesitated, and there was no feeling of the younger generation facing the older generation, he only has the mentality like Luffy. Ross raised his head and glanced at the crew behind Ace and said casually, You think they and you can carry the name of Yonko, four emperors. The crew members who were swept by Ross's eyes all felt an inexplicable palpitation in their heart and the forehead overflowed with cold sweat. Ace noticed that his crew was being looked at by Ross's spirit and his face sank gradually. No one is born to be a Yonko, four emperors, and these things are not important, as long as I can win against you, it will be enough. As his voice fell, the flames on his body suddenly rose and he turned into a fireman. Leave it to me, Lord Ross. Lafitte stepped forward. Ross reached out and stopped him. Step back, yes. Since Ross had decided to do it himself, Lafitte naturally didn't have any reason to reject and he resigned and stepped aside. Zizi. The flames on Ace's body continued to burn. Ross stood there calmly, without any fluctuations in his complexion, as if not facing a fight and just feeling the sea breeze. Ace's momentum continued to rise. At last, when the momentum reached its zenith, he shot out. Hiken, fire fist. The most common and most frequently used trick was used by Ace. A punch was thrown, and a fiery flame swept through. In an instant, this flame swallowed up the entire street. But, in the face of this explosion, Ross just stretched out his white palm and waved it gently. It was as if the wind had danced, and the blaze of flames had collapsed and annihilated in front of Ross with one wave. For a time, countless people stared, Ace's fire fist has no effect at all. Someone murmured in his heart and his heart vibrated violently. Although Ross had been expected to be very strong, he may be the toughest opponent Ace has faced so far. But he swipes the fire fist with a wave of his hand, he is a little stronger than they had expected. It has no effect at all. As expected, if you can be defeated so easily, you will not be a Yonko, for emperors. Ace did not feel discouraged. After realizing that Ross was a bit strong, he was even warier of him. He must win. Habashira, fire pillar. Ace leapt up and his arms swayed suddenly, and a towering flame spun up, turning into a pillar of fire, and falling down. The pillar of fire fell down and devoured everything in all directions. The blazing flame enveloped Ross for a moment, while Lafitte, who was not far away, stepped back to the distance, avoiding the aftermath of the flame. It hit. Somehow it works. Many of Ace's crew members also stepped back to avoid the aftermath, with a touch of excitement in their eyes. But, just as their words fell, a calm voice came out of the flames, without any emotion in it. Is that all the power you have? Ross walked out of the flames and the blaze of flames scattered around his body, unable to reach even a trace of his clothes. Ace's complexion changed slightly, and he couldn't help but take a deep breath. Ross's strength was still a little bit beyond his expectation, but along the way, he also encountered many powerful opponents, such as Marine's headquarters vice admiral, but he had defeated them all one by one. This is just the beginning. Ace snorted and his arms began to glow with fiery flames, the flames condensed into a shape of a spear and he threw it suddenly towards Ross. Shinka. Shiranui. God fire. Unknown fire. While throwing the flame spear, Ace didn't pause for a moment and rushed over again, his whole body burst into flame and the flame spear was continuously thrown towards Ross continuously. Bang. 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 Each spear fell down like a heavy cannonball and kept exploding in the field. The tremendous momentum continues to erupt and the flames ignite and burn, forcing the onlookers to retreat. Boss Ace, the blazing heatwave swept in all directions causing Ace's crew to cover their faces and stared nervously into the field. Ace threw fire spears one after another, and his figure wandered around the field, like a magic weapon. But, just as he threw more than twenty fire spears in a row, a fist suddenly emerged from the fire and landed on Ace's stomach. The sky was full of flames. Ace's figure was severely hit and he flew backward instantly, smashing a building and creating a human-shaped mark on the wall. The flames dissipated, and Ross's figure emerged from the flames, slowly retracting his fists. Boss Ace. No way. 
The faces of Ace's crew members changed as it shows a bit of horror. Ace attacked for a long time and it had no effect. Ross just punched Ace like he was swatting a fly. How could the gap be so big? Cough, Ace, whose back had smashed a cobweb of cracks into the cookie wall, coughed up a mouthful of blood, broke free from the wall and jumped down. Well, your physics is not bad. Ross looked at Ace and spoke quietly. If someone totally relies on the fruit ability, their physical skill began to get very ordinary, Ace should not have been able to get up from this punch. Even if there is no fruit ability, Ace is very strong, which can be seen from Ace's consistently winning against Luffy and Blackbeard's evaluation of him as he fought against the Blackbeard pirates. Ace gasped twice. You are the strongest opponent I have encountered so far. He took a deep breath and a look of determination and conviction appeared in his eyes. But he will win. Mirror fire. Ace's flame exploded again, rising into a monstrous flame, sweeping away towards Ross. He knows that general long-range attacks have no effect on Ross, so while performing this trick, he also charged towards Ross under the cover of the mirror fire. Huh. Ross waved his hand, and the horrible mirror fire was broken apart by him. But at this moment, Ace's fist mixed with flames appeared in front of Ross. Ross waved. Boom. Ace's fist was blocked and the flame rolled back in Ace's own direction, unable to invade Ross. Oh, hockey? Ross glanced at Ace's fist slightly with surprise. Not only did he feel the flame on Ace's fist, he also felt a hint of armament hockey on it. Unconsciously inspired. Self-awakening? He has to say that the talents of the brothers, Ace and Luffy really make many people jealous? Don't underestimate me. Ace roared loudly as his fist mixed with flames and faint armament hockey and he punched it towards Ross. Ross looked calm as he began to observe Ace's potential while waving his arm to parry Ace's attack, despite Ace's crazy onslaught, he always blocked all of Ace's attacks. Even if it's hockey, is it only that level? Ross muttered, after blocking Ace for more than 20 consecutive attacks, he punched out with one hand and broke Ace's defense. No power of distortion is used, it was an ordinary punch. Boom. The flames froze all over the sky as Ace's whole body moved, his body bent into a shrimp shape instantly, and the air vaguely rippled. His figure flew out like a stray bullet. Bang, bang, bang. Three buildings were smashed in a row and Ace's back slammed against a stone wall before stopping, and blood spewed from his mouth. AC, boss Ace, he is not an opponent at all, how can this happen, but the strength of Ace boss is. Many Ace crew members looked at this scene showing a bit of panic, even if they are stupid, they have realized something at this moment and what they have realized is the gap between Ace and Ross. It's like sky and earth, an insurmountable gap, it's not that Ace is weak, but Ross's strength, his strength is a bit outrageous. Cough. Kiki. Ace was embedded in the stone wall, coughing violently, with blood flowing from his face. With his cough, he kept spitting out a little blood. He struggled to free himself from the rock wall and fell to the ground, staggering over his body and almost falling, he was barely able to stand. How could the gap be so big, he looked a little vaguely in Ross's direction, unable to remain calm. Although Lafitte was a bit tricky, he has the faith to overcome him with his power, however, Lafitte is already the top-ranked member of Ghost Hand Pirates. Even though Ross is the captain, he shouldn't be too much better than Lafitte. But the truth is, Lafitte and Ross are not on the same level at all, it can even be said Lafitte is two or three levels behind Ross. Ace. Are you okay? Many of Ace's subordinates came to their senses and rushed to help Ace. At this time, Ross also slowly walked towards Ace. You guys, hurry up and run. Ace's eyes regained clarity and he looked at Ross coming over, he pushed away his supporters and shouted at them to run away. At the same time, he crossed his hands in front of him and took a step forward. In Jomo, flame up net. The fiery flames intertwined, instantly turning into a large net and appeared behind Ace, blocking everyone behind him. Captain. Ace. What are you doing? Heated by the blazing flames, many of Ace's men were panic-stricken. However, their eyes were blocked by the flames, and they could no longer see Ace, and Ace did not talk to them anymore and stared firmly at Ross coming over. Our battle, it's not over yet. That is to say, I can't chase after your subordinates until the end of your battle with me, right, you are quite smart and clever. Ross looked at Ace calmly. Ace didn't respond, he waved his arms, and the fiery flames shot wildly in all directions. Dai Enkai, Great Flame Commandment. 
the circles of flames swirled and turned into towering pillars of fire, converging towards the sky, and finally turning into a huge fireball, intertwined on the sky. Flame Emperor. Ace lifted the bright fireball like the sun with one hand, staring at Ross without flinching. Ross glanced at the fireball and could easily determine the power it contained. Ace is similar to Straw Hat Luffy in that both have some of the characteristics of being strong at times and can grow in battle. There is something to be said for the power of this move. Ah! The next moment, Ace screamed angrily while ignited all of his power and smashed the huge fireball like a sun at Ross. Ross stood right where he was, his right hand folded into a clenched fist, and he simply waved. He did take it a little more seriously. Bang! The huge fireball stopped short before coming to Ross's fist. It was like a mass of mud, stirred by some force, and the whole fireball suddenly spun up and turned into a flame vortex. He, under Ross's punch, Ace's flame emperor was like a faint flame and collapsed. The whole street straight ahead seemed to be swept away by some kind of shock, the buildings were smashed to pieces, and the earth was thrown out of a gully that spread out into the sky. Ace's body flew up high and he fell heavily on the edge of the battlefield. There wasn't any more movement. It's over. Lafitte watched this scene and stretched his body, he walked to Ross and said. He is a Logia user, maybe he is not dead yet, do you want to catch him? How are our people? Ross didn't answer, but looked at Lafitte and asked back. Lafitte said. There were some injuries but there was no death, that boy held back his power. Oh. Ross slightly nodded and said, then ignore him. If he plans to stay, report back to me. After leaving a word, Ross's figure flickered, reached a height of hundreds of meters, and then crossed a black arc, flying into the sky. Inside the Sky Island Palace, by the time Ross returned, Robin had also received the specific event information. The power of flame flame fruit, don't you plan to make him stay? When Ross walked into the palace, Robin just happened to hang the Den Den Mushi and asked Ross. Although they cannot remove devil fruit from the user, just like Katakori but it is also feasible to imprison and slowly transform them. We don't need to. The flame flame fruit is nothing, I want to see what happens next. Ross took off his coat and his eyes flickered. Ace didn't go to Whitebeard and ran over here to challenge him, this change in event surprised him. What kind of development will happen after he is defeated, it is something that Ross can't predict. Will Ace go to Whitebeard again? If not, then all the subsequent developments will be off axis, and he will have to pay attention to future events. But, Ross is not very concerned about these things. With his status and power today, wars and the like are no longer sufficient to be called as key events. All he has to do is wait, wait for Soul Soul Fruit to appear and take it into his own hands, and then use that fruit to exchange souls with Surgeon Surgeon Fruit to execute the Yonko, Four Emperors, Total Extinction Plan. After three months, Fire Fist Ace joined the Whitebeard Pirates. Slightly unreasonable, but not unexpected. He defeated Shichibukai Jinbei then got defeated by Whitebeard and joined the Whitebeard Pirates. Listening to what Robin reported to him, Ross rested his chin on one hand. Ace defeated Jinbei, but it was not unexpected, Ace fought him and he must have grown a bit in terms of power. However, he still joined the Whitebeard Pirates, which was something that Ross could think of, but he was still slightly surprised. Is this the so-called mysterious plot armor? With a murmur in his heart, Ross ignored it and set it aside. At this moment, the Den Den Mushi, which was placed on the documents in the distance sounded. Robin picked the Den Den Mushi to answer, however. After listening to two words, her expression changed slightly. Ross, soul soul fruit appeared. It was such a simple sentence, but Ross, who was still leaning on the back of the sofa and was lying there lazily suddenly opened his eyes the next moment. In those eyes, there was an unprecedented sharpness, he looked like a hungry sleepy tiger who has smelled his prey for a moment. Where? There isn't any need to talk more and he just asked the simplest question. Robin took the Den Den Mushi in one hand and took a deep breath and said slowly. Holy land, Marie Joy. Marie Joy? Hearing Robin's words, Ross was slightly surprised and said, are you sure? The place where soul soul fruit appeared turned out to be Marie Joy. This is probably the worst place in the world. The problem is that his intelligence agency has not penetrated into the world government. How did they know that Soul Soul Fruit has appeared in Marie Joy? It's the world government's devil fruit collection channel. Robin brought the Den Den Mushi over and put it on the coffee table. 
The voice of Deputy Captain Kaku from the intelligence team came from the Den Den Mushi. The world government has been collecting various types of devil fruits. The soul soul fruit is one of the fruits discovered and collected by the world government. By the time we got the news, it was too late to rob it. Devil fruits are one of the fundamental forces in this world, especially those powerful Logia devil fruit, who can shape the top power in almost a short time. For devil fruit, the collection of world governments is undoubtedly more exaggerated than that of any single power. Ross sometimes even wonders whether Doflamingo got the flame flame fruit through world government channels in the original series. After all, as the original Tenryubito, he has connections with Gorosei, five elder stars. But all of this ended with Doflamingo's death, there is no longer an answer. World government, Ross's eyes flashed. The soul soul fruit was found by the world government, and he was not surprised by it. No intelligence agency in the world can be compared to the world government. The world government can even monitor the Yonko, four emperors, forces and there are seagulls flying here and there all the time in Toto land. Due to the high position, the space is too large to kill them and they are too many, so they can only ignore them. Can you be sure that it was sent to Marie Joy? Ross asked in a deep voice. Kaku said, Maybe it's not at Marie Joy yet, but it should be almost to the red line, and now it's too late for us to rob it halfway. I'm very sorry, Lord Ross, if our intelligence was a little faster. There was a hint of apology and blame in his tone. If they had gotten this information half a day ahead of time, they would have the opportunity to snatch the devil fruit halfway, but the fact is that they don't even have half a day. Once the soul soul fruit enters Holy Land Marie Joy, it is equivalent to entering the forbidden area. Although Fisher Tiger climbed the red line and created trouble in the Holy Land many years ago by releasing slaves, the place where the slaves were detained was in the most general outer area guarded by Marie Joy forces. Fisher Tiger just set a fire and opened some cages before fleeing. Something like a devil fruit, especially the soul soul devil fruit which belonged to a former Yonko, four emperors, once it is acquired by the world government, I am afraid that it will be immediately sent to the center of Holy Land Marie Joy, to the most guarded treasure house. There is not only the base camp of CP0 but also the presence of the fleet admiral, Steelbone, Kong and Gorosei, five elder stars. No one dared break into there. Marine headquarters has been violated and impelled down has been attacked and broken out from, but only Holy Land Marie Joy remained untouched, even Hundred Beast Kaido, has not broken in that place. Once Hundred Beast Kaido tried to break into Marie Joy, but before he could climb the red line, he was stopped by the Marine Admirals. You don't need to blame yourself, Ross calmly said, the government's intelligence agency is far superior to ours. For you to even get the news of Soul Soul Fruit is a good thing, you have done a good job. Robin stood with a somber expression on her face, knowing how dangerous Holy Land Marie Joy was. What are you going to do? It should be obvious by now, I will go to the Holy Land. Ross sat up straight and took the teacup and took a sip, his eyes showed an unprecedented sharpness and he slowly opened his mouth. He needs to get the soul soul fruit. Even if the said fruit enters holy land or enters in the deepest parts of hell, he will break into the hell and grab it from the devil's claw if he needs to. It has been more than half a year since the war with Whitebeard. Except for his training, he has been idle for more than half a year. He couldn't even loosen his bones against his fight with Ace. This information came at the right time. Let's see what secrets are hidden inside Holy Land Marie Joy. You are being reckless. Robin closed her eyes and spoke. She is familiar with Ross's character and knows that Ross can't be stopped by anyone when he makes a decision. Don't worry. Ross touched her chin and raised it gently and said, Marie Joy won't be able to keep me and there's a need to learn more about the real power of the world government, so we won't be caught by surprise when we go to war with them later. The world government knows almost everything about the Yonko, four emperors, pirates, including information about the ghost hand pirates, but no one knows much about the world government. The Void Century. The Empty Throne. I am who is above Gorosei, five elder stars. CP0 chief of the previous generation and the current generation, and the previous fleet admiral, Steelbone. Kong who is an admiral level powerhouse. Everything is unknown and the center of Holy Land Marie Joy is always shrouded in mist, like the abyss of hell, no one had dared to invade it and step on it for hundreds of years. Who, knowing that she couldn't stop Ross, Robin exhaled and said, wait a minute, I'll organize the world government information. Since she can't stop him, 
She will help Ross in reducing the crisis as much as possible and hand over all the intelligence about Holy Land Marijoy to Ross. Good. Ross nodded. He has absolute self-confidence in his current strength and ability, but there is no such thing as enough information about your enemy. He should read whatever they have collected so far otherwise he may find himself in a situation where he had entered the Holy Land but couldn't find where the soul soul fruit is placed. Half an hour later, Robin returned while holding a few documents. The document contains the distribution map of Holy Land's Marijoy building structure, as well as information about the Fleet Admiral, Steel Bone, Kong, and other government high-level officials. Marijoy's structure is not complicated. The red line traverses the sea, dividing the Grand Line into the first half and the second half, while Marijoy is at the center of the junction. In the front is the heavily guarded New World G1 branch base, and in the back is Marine Headquarters Marine Ford. This defensive force is enough to deter countless forces and they dare not invade the Holy Land. Behind the G1 branch base and in front of Marineford, near the Red Line, there are two huge red harbors. Officials from world government, as well as Marines, boarded the towering Red Line and stepped into Holy Land Marijoy through the special transportation of these harbors. In front of Marijoy is a huge forest manor with artificial greenery, deep down in the forest manor is the Pangaea Castle. That is the core of the power of the world government. Gorose, five elder stars, and the chief fleet admiral, Steel Bone, Kong almost all stay in the Pangaea Castle, which is also the only place where marines and government officials are allowed to enter. Along the Pangaea Castle, it is the Dragon Gate, which leads to Tenryubito's residence. Except for Tenryubito and their slaves and attendants, no one is allowed to enter that place, including marine admirals. Steel Bone, Kong. Ross held the steel bone Kong information profile in his hands and was lost in thought. The data shows the achievements of steel bone Kong. During his time as Marine Admiral, he defeated numerous well known pirates with strong strength. However, he is now as old as Whitebeard. The information about Gorose, five elder stars, is completely vacant. Ross quickly flipped through the material and could not find the specifics of Gorose, five elder stars, let alone, I am. At present, I am afraid that there are not many people who know that, I am, exists, and naturally it cannot appear in the data. Yes. Robin nodded, saying, their information is completely unknown, but according to some clues, Gorose, five elder stars, should not have any battle power. It's possible, Ross nodded, and even if they have some power, they're not young, how much they can they fight? Even if the strength of Gorose, five elder stars, has reached the level of a marine admiral, they are old now and their power will be inferior in some aspects, their power would be close to Marco and Katakori. For people like Marco and Katakori, Ross can deal with them calmly and smoothly. But, all this is only based on the analysis and judgment of data. The specific situation would only be known once he is inside the Holy Land in person to really confirm it. Red Line Riding the bubble cable car a group of world government people were escorting a large number of items as arrived at Port 3 on the edge of Holy Land. Finally delivered, the heavenly tribute. Some government officials were relieved to finally reach the harbor. Escorting the heavenly tribute is not a perfectly safe job, although CP0 escorts it all the way but occasionally looting occurs. And The collection of heavenly tribute is not a thing that can be accomplished peacefully. Some countries and its people are going through poverty. They cannot even afford to eat so it is even more impossible for them to pay the heavenly tribute. They are already on the edge of a cliff. It was a tough job for you. A government official spoke to the CP0 member. The CP0 member waved his hand and said, it was nothing, now it will be delivered to the world noble. Yes, let me escort you over. The world government officials will be returning to the Pangaea castle and CP0 will perform the remaining transfer work. Several CP0 people nodded. This is not the first time that they had escorted heavenly tribute. And just then, a CP0 captain suddenly looked strangely in one direction. What happened? The person next to him asked. CP0 captain released his observation hockey to feel everything in that direction, but he could not feel anything and shook his head. It's nothing, maybe it was a misconception. Just after the heavenly tribute had departed, the void distortion suddenly appeared beside some red rock in the direction where that CP0 captain had looked it was Ross. He did not choose to invade directly from above Holy Land, because according to the intelligence he had learned, 
there was some kind of special equipment to monitor real-time situations above Marijoy to prevent anyone from trying to invade and pass from the sky. Using light distortion and sound distortion, he moved from the bottom of the sea to the red line easily. However, he was nearly caught by the CP0's captain and narrowly escaped detection. Light distortion and sound distortion were unable to escape from Kenbenshoku Haki. And the only way to avoid Kenbenshoku, observation, Haki is the trick he just used, to hide inside the space itself. Utilizing the ability of space distortion to wrap the entire space around him, so that even the observation Haki can only pass through the distorted space and cannot reach Ross's body. Naturally, this ability also has its flaws, that is, he also gets trapped in a single position and it is hard for him to move in any direction. If he wants to move in this state, it is tantamount to maintaining the space that surrounds him like a quilt, while still moving the space ahead of him and around him to move. Although Ross can do it, but the consumption of stamina is too large and the speed of movement is too slow, so this ability can only be regarded as simple and will only be used to escape detection. Heavenly Tribute Ross stared at the direction in which the CP0 and the government officials leaving and there was no fluctuation in his eyes. He has seen too much about the ugly side of the world, and he will not be moved by this. Tenryubito has been doing these kinds of things for a long time now and nobody does anything to prevent it because they know that nothing will change. But now that he is here, the person who will do something about this and more will not be the revolutionary army or the pirate king, it will be him. He took a step forward. Ross followed the people who escorted the heavenly tribute and quickly passed the artificial green forest in the first half of Marijoy and reached the world government center, Pangaea Castle. This building, which is not so tall gives people a majestic and grandeur feeling even when one looks at it from a distance. Even marine headquarters, which Ross had destroyed, was no match for the seemingly defenseless Pangaea Castle. Because it represents the center of the world government, the supreme power of the world government stands here. Pangaea Castle Ross glanced at the Pangaea Castle, his eyes shimmering slightly. He did not use his Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey to perceive the situation, because there is no shortage of strong people who are proficient in Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey inside that palace. Once he uses Kenbenshoku, observation, to perceive something, the other party can also discover his existence. Just to say, Ross is not afraid of Gorosei, five elder stars. Because Gorosei, five elder stars, are just the top five people among Tenryubito. As Tenryubito, they possess a large political power, but they don't have much power themselves and can only deploy powerhouses to do their bidding. Will a Tenryubito go to battle? No, they won't. They have no experience of any real fight and they aren't that strong to begin with anyway. Even if they use the government's intelligence department to collect the top devil fruit and eat them, they still won't be any stronger than a marine admiral. What really made Ross hesitate was the person hiding behind the scenes. Why would Doflamingo know that a surgeon surgeon fruit user can use perpetual youth surgery? There is no doubt that someone must have used this operation in the past. What happens if a person lives for hundreds of years? There may be limits to physical fitness and the like, but things like Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey and armament hockey will probably reach a terrifying level. At least Ross is pretty sure that if he lived for a few hundred years, he would be able to handle his current self with on hand tied behind his back. Naturally, it doesn't mean that he is afraid, today he, is recognized as the strongest person in the world. Since a long time ago, he has never had any fear of world government, and now he is the strongest person in the world, it is even more impossible for him to fear the world government. The soul soul fruit should be placed in the core warehouse, but it still needs to be confirmed. Ross murmured. Holy Land Marijoy has a huge warehouse that stores all kinds of weapons, contraband and the like. In addition to the warehouse on the side, there is a core warehouse, which stores extremely valuable things. Even Tenryubitos are prohibited from taking anything from the core warehouse without the permission of Gorosei, five elder stars. For the location of the core warehouse, Ross has learned it from the intelligence, which is a favorable situation for him. Whoosh! Ross used light distortion to reflect the image of a government official in his memory onto himself, replacing his appearance. Looking at the Pangaea castle in front of him, Ross walked forward. He doesn't need to worry about being spotted, except for the top practitioner of Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey. The general Kenbenshoku, observation, users would only be able to sense human movements and not his figure. Therefore, the external image produced by light distortion can still confuse most people. Quickly. 
Ross walked to the main gate of the Pangaea Castle and the guards outside Pangaea Castle saw Ross and saluted at Ross and let him enter the palace without any obstruction. After entering the Pangaea Castle, Ross walked around naturally. After going around, he began to look for the accurate news of Soul Soul Fruit. Although he hasn't done intelligence collection for a long time, he would still be able to do this. Not long after, Ross got accurate intelligence. The Soul Soul Fruit was sent to Holy Land Marijoy one day ago and was logged into the warehouse. It was indeed included in the core warehouse. Core warehouse. Ross's eyes flickered and he soon came to the underground area of the Holy Land Marijoy. Both the open warehouse and the core warehouse are located in Marijoy's underground area, except that the location of the core warehouse is more hidden and it has more defenses. Marijoy's underground. What emerges here is the very ugly side of the so called Holy Land. Those so called self walking trails are all pulled by humans. Ross knows that the world rulers are an existence that wants to express the darkness hidden under the light, but in this world, it is a real thing. For world government, it is not difficult for Vegapunk to study a mechanically powered self propelled trail, but they are willing to use an artificial pulley system using humans because it looks more interesting to the Tenryubitos, and it also gives the untouchables something to survive upon. Silence. Ross's body slipped into the darkness. After using light distortion, he became completely invisible. No one would be able to capture his existence unless his location was swept by observation hockey. Marijoy's underground area consists of a huge space, but Ross already has intelligence on the map, and soon found the huge warehouse. There were four guards at the gate of this warehouse, and two guards were patrolling back and forth, but they didn't find Ross. Ross came to a wall of the warehouse. Go! Ross reaches out and presses his palm against the wall and used a little of his space distortion power upon it. The wall grunted like mud and became embedded upon itself, and Ross crossed the wall in this step. After Ross entered, the wall was restored to its original state, obviously, it was not the wall but the space that was distorted. Inside the warehouse, there was a dim light and a magnificent and wide scene presented itself to him, numerous standard swords and guns were neatly arranged here and they went on until his eyes can see. Although Marine Headquarters also has an arsenal, it is far from being comparable to the world government. Whenever there is a lack of firearms on the Marine side, the government will move some of this stuff to fill the vacancy. Step, step, step. Ross was walking in the warehouse. Although he knew that there was monitoring in the warehouse, he didn't care. After using light distortion, the monitoring Den Den Mushi wouldn't be able to capture his figure. Each step fell with a flash, and about a minute later Ross crossed the huge hall in front of the warehouse and went to the rear. It's here. There is a house-like structure built by Seastone. The house is not large. Compared to the outer warehouse where the standard swords and guns are placed, it is much too small. This is undoubtedly the core warehouse. Seastone, Ross frowned and reached the outside area of the core warehouse. This core warehouse is surprisingly thick in thickness and is likely to be made of a layer of sea stone, a layer of high strength steel, and so on. Because the outer wall of the impel down is made in the same way as the core warehouse, it is not worse than the huge impel down in terms of defense. Although this kind of outer wall is not unbreakable like Ponliff steel, it is not easy to break it either, because it is too thick and it is also divided into multiple layers, which can bear the force uniformly as a whole. Perhaps I can get inside using my abilities. Ross watched the outer wall of the core warehouse groan slightly. Although the inside and the outside are completely isolated, the power of space should be able to connect the inside to the outside, and he can directly penetrate into it in a way that crosses the space? Ross tried to use space distortion. However, this is the core warehouse, which is completely enclosed from inside and outside by sea stone and it is not so easy to cross. Sea stone is like a magnetic field, which interferes with the radar's position scan. And Ross's space movement has always shortened the long distance space to a short distance, which is similar to the ability of walking thousands of miles in a single step. One step is equivalent to a long walk. This ability is not teleportation. It is fundamentally different from Law's Surgeon Surgeon Fruit ability, Shambles, which does teleport things in the space. Ross has also been working on how to teleport himself directly from one space point to another, but he has not been successful so far. Can't do it. The distorted space in front of him finally recovered. That being the case, there was a flash of coldness in his eyes, and he walked towards the thick wall. He clenched his fist and punched the wall. Bang! This punch is incredible. This is the punch that Ross as Yonko, four emperors, 
and as the world's strongest man, went all out to make and in terms of the positive attack power, it can rival Whitebeard at his peak. Bang Long. The tremor of this punch shocked the underground warehouse like an earthquake, sending weapons crashing down. The guards outside the warehouse also became unstable, their figures were shaking and swaying and they almost fell down. What, what happened, is this an earthquake? The guards managed to steady themselves and looked at each other in some kind of shock, they had never heard of an earthquake on the red line. Just when they were in doubt, bang, there was another bang that shook the earth. This time it wasn't just the underground, it was the red line on the ground, too, and there was the sound of crashing teacups inside the Pangaea castle. What is happening? Fleet Admiral, Steel Bone, Kong stood up and shouted. Gorosei, five elder stars, located in the middle of the highest level of power, also nearly toppled along with the sofa and stood awkwardly looking at the broken teacups on the ground. All of them were stunned. Bang, bang, bang. Just as their expressions change, a continuous stream of bangs started to sound out and the entire holy land Marijoy shook with it. In the Tenryubito residence behind the Dragon Gate, countless Tenryubito screamed in horror and ran out in chaos. Some people were riding the slaves, and they screamed the slaves to climb quickly. As a result, they fell off the slaves' back and were directly hit in the face by the overturned table. The whole holy land looked like it was full of chickens and dogs as the highest humans behaved like them. At the same time, on the outside of the underground core warehouse, Ross was punching the wall, he punched again and again without holding anything back, hitting the outer wall of the core warehouse. Bang! 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 Under Ross's continuous punch, the outer walls of the core warehouse were already visibly deformed and cracked, with steel layers barely visible inside. Under successive punches, the steel layer also shattered, revealing a special layer of ore further down. I don't know how thick the walls of the core warehouse is, how many floors it has, and what kind of relief frame it was designed with, but there is no doubt that it is not as hard as the poneglyph stone. Seastone's outer wall had little effect on Ross. Now, even if Ross doesn't use his devil fruit powers, he can literally shatter the average sea stone with one punch formed by armament hockey alone. Sea stone layer, steel layer, cotton black ore layer. Layers of outer walls, hammered by Ross's fists, crack one after another and spread deeper. No one knows how long it has been. Bang! A loud bang sounded and the entire outer wall was completely smashed, and Ross smashed a big three foot hole in the wall. Huh, that was too hard. Ross looked at the smashed wall and touched his hand. I don't know if the stones and materials splashed inside the warehouse have broken the contents inside. If two people eat the same piece of devil fruit at the same time, only the first person can obtain the power of devil fruit. No matter how, simultaneously, there will always be a chronological order on the time scale, even if it is a fraction of a second. If the soul soul fruit is broken, he will have to collect all the pieces, otherwise in case the world government finds a piece and let someone eat it, it will be extremely troublesome. No hesitation. Although it was difficult to get into the cave that was three feet wide, Ross did not plan to continue to destroy it. He just raised his hand and pulled the space apart, stepping into it. When the inside and outside are completely sealed, Ross can't enter, but as long as there is a small hole, he can instantly expand the space of the hole, and then step in. He has to say. This core warehouse is still very solid. The design of the unloading layer and the stress layer is almost perfect. Even if Ross smashes like this, it will only smash a hole in the end instead of blowing up the whole structure. The space in the core warehouse is not very large. There are a number of quaint wooden cabinets and wooden boxes. Several wooden boxes were smashed by stones and their content were already visible. Some are devil fruit, others are sword blades, which seem to be swords from the 12 supreme grade sword, Seijo Owazamono, and others are also raindrop shaped sapphires with half a palm size. All of these are rare treasures. However, Ross only glanced at them and ignored all of them. His only purpose now is the soul soul fruit. He will first find the soul soul fruit first and then he will look at other things. Just after Ross entered the core warehouse, the severe earthquake stopped, but Tenryubido still suffered heavy casualties due to panic. Some people had so much bad luck that they even died from an artificial earthquake. Among the powers at the top of the Pangaea Castle is the commander in chief, Steel Bone, Kong, who is here along with Gorosei, five elder stars, ordering government officials to find out what happened. Report. Report to Commander-in-Chief, Lord Gorosei, five elder stars. 
At this time, a world government official ran in and said tremblingly, the source of the shock is underground, is from the core warehouse. The technology inside the world government is unquestionable. Almost all kinds of monitoring devices and den den mushi exist here. In such a situation that alarmed Gorose, five elder stars, and commander-in-chief, Steel Bone, Kong, all government officials jumped and it took almost no time to find out the source of the problem. What? Hearing the man's report, Gorose, five elder stars, and Steel Bone, Kong were stunned at the same time. What happened at the core warehouse? The outer wall was damaged, it was, Ghost Hand Ross. Various types of Den Den Mushi are monitored in the core warehouse. In addition to the simplest image Den Den Mushi, there are also voice Den Den Mushi, a high-level radar instrument and life-scanning instruments. After all, it is one of the most important places in the entire world government so its security is high. Ghost Hand This piece of information stunned the Gorose, five elder stars, and their faces finally change. Not only was the wall of the core warehouse destroyed, but someone, and that someone is Ghost Hand Ross. That's not good. If the contents inside are taken away by Ross, let alone other Yonko, four emperors, even Marine headquarters won't be able to contain the Ghost Hand pirates. What about CP0? Send all the nearest ones over there. Agorose got out of his shock and shouted immediately. I'll go too. Commander in chief, Steel Bone, Kong's complexion changed. He was very clear about the seriousness of this situation and immediately rushed out of the room and went straight to the core warehouse of the underground base. With CP0 and Steel Bone, Kong going, Gorose, five elder stars, S expression eased a bit. After the tension and urgency subsided, it was replaced by anger. How dare that lunatic come here? This is Holy Land Marijoy. The core warehouse is located directly below Pangaea Castle and it is the most guarded place. Many years ago, although the Fisher Tiger did create chaos up here but it was only in the outermost part of Marijoy, in the underground prison, where the slaves were imprisoned. A fire was set and he rescued some people before fleeing. Ross has invaded the center of Holy Land Marijoy, directly invading the Pangaea Castle and he even went to the core warehouse. Madman. Agorose spoke while suppressing his anger. At this time, another government official rushed in and reported to Gorose, five elder stars, about the damage at the Dragon Gate. Several buildings collapsed due to severe shocks. The Tenryubido trampled on each other due to panic, seriously injuring four Tenryubido, 13 were slightly injured and two died. The Tenryubitos are now in extreme panic, demanding the deployment of Marine Admirals and all CP0 members to protect them. The government official reported tremblingly. The Gorose listened to the report. Almost all of them were furious. Ross invaded the core warehouse here. Two Tenryubido died and four were seriously injured while the other Tenryubido asked all CP0 members to protect them. Waste. They could not help but think of the trouble that Fisher Tiger caused. That is because the fire was set off, and the Tenryubidos who were frightened asked CP0 members to protect all of them personally. As a result, CP0 members did not go to deal with Fisher Tiger and by the time Marines arrived, it was too late, and everyone had already ran off. Pangaea Castle located in a special area, in a very strange room. Not many people are qualified to enter this room, and even the vast majority of government officials are unaware of the existence of this place, which belongs to the restricted area of, the restricted area. Here it is, between flowers. In the middle between the flowers, a dark shadow was standing there, watching the surrounding rooms damaged by the quake, and there was a moment of silence. It looks like something happened, Lord I am. A figure emerged from the darkness. I am, was still silent. The shadow asked, Do I need to go? I am. Holy Land Marijoy. Underground, the core warehouse. In the midst of the chaos, Ross finally pulled up a strange devil fruit with patterns that look like floating souls. Found it. During this time Ross had long remembered the pattern of soul soul fruit, and the moment he pulled it out of the wooden box, he recognized it. He decisively put the soul soul fruit in his pocket. He glanced at the devil fruits scattered all over the place, although he didn't know about them, the worst of them was an ancient zone. The precious ones are probably Logia and the fantasy beast like the phoenix. I've already got the soul soul fruit. I don't need to be too greedy. Let's pack the rest, and take them away. Ross took off his cloak and the void shuddered. See. All of devil fruits mess was collected by him, including two of the twelve supreme grade sword. 
Seijo Owazamono, and five or six pieces of sea treasures that even the Fishman Island did not have. He tore off a ribbon skillfully and tied the cloak's mouth. Ross carried the makeshift bag on his shoulders and walked towards the hole he had smashed before. He reached out and tear open space. Ross stepped forward to the outside of the hole. Then Ross saw, on the left side of the hole, a group of CP0 members stood there, the first of whom was wearing glasses and had a cold and depressing face, while on the right in front of the hole, a strong man with a Mohican head came forward. Each step he took, shocked the place. He is the previous Marine Fleet Admiral and also the current World Government Commander-in-Chief and his rank is above Sengoku. He is Commander-in-Chief, Steel Bone, Kong. Put down those things, Ghost Hand. Steel Bone. Kong coldly looked at Ross. Although he didn't know what Ross had taken, everything in the core warehouse was extremely valuable and it was impossible for them to let Ross take any of it away. Ross was carrying a cloth bag, like a long-distance traveler, and he took a casual look at Steel Bone, Kong, saying. Oh, it's the previous fleet admiral. As the previous marine fleet admiral and the current commander-in-chief, Steel Bone, Kong's strength when he was young is beyond doubt and he is also a terrifying presence that shocked the sea. Before the great age of pirates, the only one who had defeated him was the only old bat Patrick Redfield who had eaten a zone devil fruit model vampire, and no one else had beaten him. And the strength of Patrick Redfield better known as Red the Aloof does not need to be said, he did not have any crew members and he alone was strong enough to contend against rogue pirates and the Whitebeard pirates and have similar strength to their Captain Whitebeard and Gold Roger. Naturally. These are the things of the last era. To tell me to leave these things here, do you still have the ability to say that? Ross casually opened his mouth and replied while his eyes swept across the several CP0 members. As his voice fell, he took a step forward and his figure rushed out in the direction where there was no one. If it weren't for Holy Land Marijoy and if he wasn't carrying a parcel on his back, he wouldn't have minded playing around with Steelbone, Kong. Now, he doesn't have any interest in fighting right now. Whiz, almost instantly, Ross appeared hundreds of meters away. But just as Ross was about to continue to walk away, a figure rushes through with terrifying explosive power, with pure physical speed, and smashes Ross in the back with a violent punch. Before the fist fell, the shock of compressed air roared in. Ross turned around and punched back, fighting fists, he was not afraid of anyone. Bang! The fist wrapped in the power of distortion and the dark armament hockey fist of steel bone. Kong slammed against each other. It was as if a bomb has gone off in the area as the sound made after two fists collided against each other finally explodes. The aftermath swings away. Ross remained motionless while, steel bone, Kong's arm trembled and he was forced to take a step back. Even the commander-in-chief, steel bone, Kong, who had terrified countless pirates and defeated many strong pirates was inferior to Ross. There is no doubt. For example, Ross, who is less than 30 years old, and is at the peak of his power, he is almost invincible in one-on-one -on -one combat. His single punch was enough to force, Steel Bone, Kong back but Ross's fist was slightly tingling, because, Steel Bone, Kong's armament hockey was stronger than his, but because of his body's strong resilience, it was basically nothing and the effects will be gone momentarily. Stret fruit. Or is it something else? Why did this man even retire when he had this much strength? Pulling back his fist, Ross glanced at, Steel Bone, Kong. The power of that punch just now was not normal and it is a bit too prominent in terms of, strength, it's almost the same as Whitebeard's full strength attack. It is estimated that even Garp's fist will be slightly inferior to it. It's a little strange to have such a fist power just because of the amount of physical powers. There are devil fruits that can only increase speed, but there are also devil fruits that can increase speed, strength and physical abilities at the same time then there must be a devil fruit that can enhance strength alone. Increase your strength to the limit. This is the ability of, Steel Bone, Kong. The name of Steel Bone must be because he has steel-like bones that can withstand the explosion of such terrifying strength. Steel Bone, Kong didn't speak, but he was astonished seeing Ross's strength. Although he is old and weaker than when he was young, his strength has not actually dropped much because of his physical fitness. Even if Ross won against Whitebeard, he doesn't have any fear, because when he was Marine Admiral, Whitebeard didn't have the strongest title in the world. But, the reality is that Ross in front, even if he hits him with all his strength, he can stop it, and make him fall back. Sure enough, 
you have grown to an extent that was impossible to estimate. Steelbone. Kong sighed in his heart. He knew things about Ross relatively late, but he was also one of the insiders. He only felt one thing about this matter and that was, a pain in the ass. Whiz. After, steel bone. Kong was forced to retreat. Ross lifted his foot and flew into the air using Geppo. Moonwalk. His right fingers gathered to make a fist. But at this moment, a strange power suddenly came towards Ross who he equals was using Geppo, Moonwalk, and he stumbled. Oh. Ross blinked. Even if the air was thin at a height of 12,000 kilometers, and he added the strongest gravity to himself, it was impossible for Geppo, Moonwalk, to fail. And the weird power that enveloped him was also strange as it had taken all the air out of him in a moment, not only making him unable to breathe, but also tearing at his body to get all the air out of his lungs. Absolutely, vacuum, CP0's new chief appeared under Ross, his eyes stared at the sky indifferently and then he punched towards Ross. Air cannon. Bang. A terrifying air column burst out violently, directly covering Ross's whole body, engulfing him in its power. The air hit the ceiling, and crack-like marks appeared on the extremely thick rock wall above. Bang. 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 CP0's new chief didn't pause at all. After releasing an air cannon, he flickered in several directions and punched out successively, hitting out several terrifying air columns in succession, enveloping Ross in the center. This power finally condensed and exploded, blasting the ground up and down, exposing the blue sky outside. However, when the compressed air erupted and the aftermath completely dissipated, Ross's body appeared in the sky, he remained floating there and there wasn't even a scratch mark on his body. Space barrier, he pressed the void in front of him with one hand and the empty space showed the shape of distortion. Even if the air is compressed even more powerfully and no matter how strong the impact is, it cannot break the space. This is the limit of the ability of the fruit. Oh. Ross's eyes narrowed as he looked at the CP0 chief and murmured. Logia's air air fruit, the world government sure has many good things. Logia air fruit. There is no doubt that this is also a top level devil fruit. The vacuum field attack alone is tantamount to a big killer. Anyone with insufficient physical strength will be killed by it. Not to mention the air cannon that compressed the air just now. I am afraid that it is more powerful than the bear paw attack of the Shichibukai Kuma, after all, this is the ability to dominate the air. For the world government, they just need to find a CP0 captain or vice chief who can pass their tests in all aspects, and then give that person give the other party such an air logia devil fruit, and they would immediately create an existence comparable to a marine admiral, which is the foundation of world government's strength. But now, much of it is on his shoulders. Whiz? Ross had no intention of fighting them right now and after blocking CP0's new chief's air cannon, he directly flew towards the sky. Although the air was still in a vacuum, making him unable to use Geppo, Moonwalk, he could still fly by using gravity distortion. Without air resistance, the flight could accelerate even more. Don't you dare run away, steel bone, Kong roared and stomped towards Ross. With the strength of his foot, he stepped on the ground and directly caused spider-like cracks on the ground. It was also this explosive power that made him fly out towards the air in an instant. His figure seemed to have exceeded the speed of sound and he caught up with Ross in the sky and attacked him. Get out of the way. Ross had a bag in one hand and he could only use one hand. At this moment, he roared and turned his elbow towards, steel bone, Kong's fist. Armament hockey was attached to his elbow and Haoshoku hockey was emitted from his body. Bang. Steel bone. Kong's body shook because he was in the air, he could not step on the ground to release this force and he couldn't help fly sideways. You bastard, damn it! CP0 chief yelled and was forced to put away the vacuum field, otherwise, steel bone. Kong would suffer, Ross could use gravity distortion and could fly, but their side couldn't use Geppo in the empty air and they were in a bad situation. Withdrawing from the vacuum realm, steel bone. Kong immediately used Geppo, moonwalk, and displayed the top-level Geppo moonwalk and his figure left residual image as he chased after ross whiz whiz ross doesn't care about steel bone kong following him and continues to run away he has the ability of distortion space and he can appear a few kilometers away in an instant although not as perverted as using teleportation not many people can catch up with him at close range although distortion space shortens the distance on the spatial scale it takes time to launch but it is faster than steel bone 
Kong's Geppo which is the strongest he has ever seen. Whiz! Whiz! Within a few steps, Ross had already left, Steelbone, Kong behind. But just as Ross was about to shorten a longer space, and reached a few kilometers away in one step, a strange force suddenly enveloped him. Black Jail. This power seemed to be some kind of strong attraction, which instantly caught Ross's figure and he was to be dragged back to the ground. Ross frowned slightly and his body shook, he forcibly got rid of this ability upon himself but he could not bear the burden he was carrying and they were pulled down by this power. The contents were sparsely scattered and flew down. Oh! Ross's eyes become red at this time. With a roar of rage, Ross directly used distortion space, grabbing everything in his hands and pushing down hard. Space, collapse. Buzz, under Ross's push, the empty space with a radius of nearly a kilometer directly below him collapsed in a flash and pops down. Today, Ross's control of space distortion ability has been improved a lot compared to when he used it against Whitebeard. This is a new trick that he could not perform before, it is pure space oppression. It's like forming a wall of space, unless it's a top level hockey or a devil fruit belonging to the space department, the people who face this attack will either stay out of the way or be crushed into pieces by the collapsing space barrier. Tekai, Iron Body, Steel Bone. Kong was the first to endure the oppression of space. He immediately folded his arms in front of him and exhibited armament hockey to resist the coming attack. His armament hockey is top notch, stronger than the current Ross. Naturally, he can withstand the collapsed space, or the power of distortion, that caused the collapse of the space. But, he could block it, but he couldn't block it in the air while using Geppo, Moonwalk. Before Ross's space collapsed on him, he was forced back to the ground from the sky and stood on the ground to resist. Airwall. CP0's new chief's face changed, and he raised his hands up to create an air wall visible to the naked eye to block the collapsing space. But space and air can be seen at a glance. How can the air wall stop a space wall? Boom. When the two touched, the air wall almost collapsed at one touch, and it couldn't resist in the slightest. Ross's space wall directly crushed the air wall and continued to press downward. And at the same time, the third person who exhibited the strange power and shattered Ross's baggage also showed his body. He wore the same black cloak as Gorosei, five elder stars, and his face was unemotional. Facing the collapsing space wall, he pushed forward with both hands. Black Prison. A strange force came and twisted before him into a black swirl, and even space was distorted before it. When the wall finally disappeared, he grasped it in his right hand, and the dark whirlpool suddenly compressed into a small black ball that flew skyward. What? With a slight frown, Ross was about to move away when the small black ball suddenly created a terrible gravitational pull, gripping his body and drawing him toward it. At the same time, the ground on the red line began to crumble inch by inch, and mountains of rock rose up, flying toward the black ball as if they had been attracted to it. I see, Ross, who saw this scene finally realized something. There is nothing wrong. This is the attraction Devil Fruit. It can be said that the Zushi Zushi no Mi, Fujitora's fruit, Fua Fua no Mi, Golden Lion Shiki's fruit, are the real upper level Devil Fruits related to gravity. But for gravity, attraction is similar to being a father to it because without attraction there will be no gravity at all and all the gravity based Devil Fruit and attraction fruit have an intercrossing relationship. Ross doesn't know the abilities of this attraction fruit, nor does he know this person, he is not one of the Gorosei five elder stars. He is apparently a hidden character in Holy Land. So far, only three people have appeared. Gorosei, five elder stars, didn't appear, I am, will not come here. Two of the top powers of the world government are not here but they still possess such power. Distortion. Ross swings his hand to counteract gravity. Both of these forces are invisible forces of nothingness and they are in a fierce conflict and confrontation in the void. But, this gravity is a large scale attack. Even CP0 Chief and Steel Bone Kong have been affected, and it is difficult for them to attack Ross for a while. Black Jail. The attraction fruit user raised his hands with a dull expression on his face, grabbing at the pile of devil fruits and Seijo Owazamono swords, and gems scattered in the air. Ross's face changed, his right hand was severely pulled, and the power of distortion violently spread out. Bang! Two forces collided in void. The devil fruits shattered into seven or eight pieces in a split second, leaving Ross bleeding. 
The two scabbards of Seijo Owazamono swords also instantly deformed and shattered. As for the few gems, their texture was firm, just like sea stone. Although the chain attached to it was broken, the gem itself was intact. However, compared to Ross, steel bone, Kongs was injured in his heart and he almost sprouted out blood. The CP0 chief knew about the preciousness of these things, his face is constantly twitching. The air fruit he ate was just one of the fruits that got destroyed here. If Gorose, five elder stars, knew that the devil fruits in the core warehouse had been destroyed in seven or eight pieces, I'm afraid all of them would growl and the sound of their roar would probably knock down the Pangea castle. Ross was angry and the power of distortion broke out desperately. Bang! The black gravitational ball was blasted hard by a distortion fist and the numerous lifted rocks and mountains fell towards the ground. At the same time, Ross's right hand jerked and the force of gravity was ripped apart, holding on to parts of each other and separating the top from the bottom. Naturally, because Ross occupies the initiative, the direction of his tearing is in the direction of the devil fruits, and the Seijo Owazamono swords and gems can only be left with the world government. After the world government is destroyed, these things would naturally become his. There are four devil fruits in total. Counting the soul soul fruit, there are a total of five. If each one is at the level of air fruit and attraction fruit, then this is undoubtedly the most vicious way to cut the fattest piece of meat on the body of the world government. Whiz! Wrapping the four devil fruits in a robe, Ross didn't speak and flew towards the sky. Steel bone! Kong roared and set off after him using Geppo, Moonwalk. However, Ross's power of distortion was excited and after a few steps, he became a black spot in sight, and soon, steel bone! Kong was left far behind. Damn it, standing in the sky, watching Ross's figure disappearing, steel bone. Kong clenched his fist, there has never been a moment where he was so angry. At the same time, he couldn't help but think that when this matter was known by Gorose, five elder stars, and what kind of consequences would follow and he began to feel a pain developing in his head. We can't catch up. CP Zero's new chief's mouth twitched. He knows how terribly powerful the previous chief was and now there were three of them here and nothing needs to be said about their strength. Their combined strength is definitely the top in the sea, but they still couldn't stop Ross. The last attraction fruit ability user was also suspended in the sky. Out of the three people except for Kong who used Geppo, Moonwalk, the other two had the ability to fly. He looked up in the direction where Ross was disappearing and then glanced back. Black Prison, why are you here? Steel bone? Kong looked at the unknown person's face and couldn't help but groan. Black prison is the same as steel bone or iron fist, both of which are titles used by people to call them. It is similar to Aokiji Akainu Kazaru, who also has nicknames that are not linked to their real name. This person was an admiral who was with him for an era. When he was promoted to Marine Fleet Admiral, the other chose to retire and then disappeared. He did not expect him to appear in Holy Land today. Go ask Gorose, five elder stars, if you want to know. Black Prison responded with a stern expression and flew towards the red line below. Royal Court Guard. This is his current identity, he is directly under, I am, and he is his guard, he is above CP0, and only known to the Gorose, five elder stars, but they can't command him. Steel Bone. Kong knows that there are many hidden things inside the world government. With his current status, few things can be concealed from him. But, because he is not a Tenryubito and has no aristocratic identity, he still cannot reach or cannot touch some of the most core things. Just like a country, the general was promoted to the Admiral Army and promoted to Fleet Admiral, but it was impossible for him to be promoted to the Emperor. The overall commander-in-chief position is the highest he would reach. Gorose, five elder stars, steel bone, Kong shook his head. He knows some things, but he doesn't want to consider it so much, his position is in the world government, standing on the government's side, protecting the world, and nothing more. After learning of the loss, Gorose, five elder stars, was naturally furious. For a moment, five people almost lost their minds and ordered marines to attack the ghost hand pirates but they finally resisted. At this time, if marines are dispatched to deal with the ghost hand pirates, there is no doubt that they will be destroyed. It was not enough to just to go with one or two marine admirals and bring Momosagi and Tokikaki, they have to bring their entire force with them. If they do this, the risks involved are too great. Just in case. If other Yonko, four emperors, 
pirates knew about their plan then it will lead to various unfavorable situations like one of the Yonkos can attack the marine headquarters or the holy land, which would lead to an uncontrollable situation. And the biggest problem is that Ross's presence presents too much trouble. His personal combat power is the strongest in the world. Steelbone. Kong has personally verified Ross's power. If he was at his peak power, he can fight Ross, but now he is a bit worse than Ross because of his age. And Ross also has the best escape ability in the world. He retreated calmly under the four Admiral combat powers and this time, in front of the three major combat powers of, Steel Bone, Kong, CP0 Chief, and Black Prison, he was able to grab a few Devil Fruits before leaving. With this ability, it is possible for him to visit the Marine Headquarters again one day if he escaped. At the same time, his survival ability is also the strongest. He is like the combination of Kaido and Whitebeard, he is a very tricky and powerful character to deal with. What about the warehouse? Gorosei, five elder stars, asked the other officials after converging. The official in charge of the core warehouse had cold sweat running on his forehead as he said with some fear. Fourteen devil fruits are missing. Six ancient species, three paramecia, two fantasy beast species, two logia. Listening to the report, Agorose, five elder stars, had blue veins overflowing his forehead. There are many ordinary devil fruits, and even Tenryubito sometimes buys them for their entertainment and let their slaves eat them. But ancient species, logia, and fantasy beasts, each of them are rare and precious items, and the world government has collected them after many years of hard work. Especially Logia and the Fantasy Beast species, it is easy to create a CP0 chief level fighter with those fruits. Fortunately, they have heard a rough report from Steelbone, Kong before, and they knew that Ross had packaged the devil fruits of the core warehouse and ran out with them so they did not lose their cool this time. Fortunately, under the carpet search, some of the broken devil fruits pieces were still found, naturally, these pieces were only a part of it. This can be considered as making up for some losses. After all, as long as no one eats the other parts of the fragments, then these fragments are also effective. Half a day later. Sky Island Burka. Inside the palace, a few devil fruits were placed silently on a table. Robin was holding one in her hand and observing it. After looking at it, she put it back. Ross put on a loose bathrobe and walked out, how about it? Two ancient zone species, one fantasy beast, one logia, and one paramecia, Robin said to Ross. Ross picked up the soul soul fruit and asked, this is soul soul fruit, right? Robin confirmed. Yes. That's good. Ross nodded. The other devil fruits are also important, but for him, they are not as important as the soul soul fruit. Putting the soul soul fruit in his pocket, Ross looked at the other four devil fruit and asked, what is the Logia's ability? The ancient species devil fruits are also very strong, but they are nothing compared to Logia devil fruits and the fantasy beast species devil fruits. It the hurricane logia fruit. Robin didn't expect Ross to get four precious devil fruits besides the soul soul fruit, especially a logia and a fantasy beast type. Hurricane fruit. It is also one of the top devil fruits, which can easily create storms. Hurricane. Ross thought of the broken devil fruit, and could not help but have a headache. After rubbing his eyebrows, he continued to ask, what about the fantasy beast type? Zone, fox fruit, fantasy beast, Medel. Nine tailed fox. Robin picked up the nine tailed fox fruit with nine tail like patterns on the fruit. Puff. Ross almost spit out the water he was drinking and said, Nine tailed fox? Is there really anything like that in the world? Robin looked strangely at Ross, saying, The fantasy beast species is originally a fantasy species, regardless of its existence or myth. Oh. The corner of Ross's mouth twitched slightly. Mainly this fantasy beast species reminded him of the nine tail fox from the Naruto world. Even the golden Buddha, the phoenix, and the vampire fruit and the nine tail fox fruit was nothing strange. What are you going to do with these devil fruits? Robin asked Ross. There are two ancient species devil fruits which can at least create a strong combat force that is comparable to a captain and maybe even better. As for the hurricane and the nine tail fox, they would be able to create a combat power similar to the three disasters. Leave the hurricane and the nine tail fox devil fruit for the time being. The two ancient species devil fruit can be used as rewards to those who have high credit. Give priority to the giants. Ross thought slightly before replying. When the giants eat zones devil fruit, they will get zones bonus on the basis of their already strong physique, which is more advantageous than ordinary humans. 
As for the hurricane and the nine tail fox, Ross does not plan to release them for the time being, especially the hurricane fruit. He has some plans for it in his mind. Like Biomom's Prometheus and Zeus, their powers were unquestionable. In the event of a full scale outbreak, even if they are not as good as a marine admiral, at least they have attack power similar to that of the three disaster. And Fire Cloud and Thunder Cloud are purely soul incarnation made by Soul Soul Fruit, which is a combination of ordinary fire and thunder cloud. If Ross uses Logia's Hurricane Fruit to make a storm incarnation that belongs to him, then I am afraid that the strength of this incarnation alone would be comparable to a marine admiral. In this case, it is naturally unnecessary to feed this fruit to giants. Naturally, it is estimated that this kind of incarnation cannot be produced indefinitely, after all, BIGMOM only had two, maybe two or three is Ross's upper limit. Understood. Robin nodded and gathered the nine tail fox and the hurricane devil fruit. Ross watched as Robin locked the two devil fruits into the safe inside the office, he pondered for a moment and then asked, Robin, help me investigate someone. Who? Robin closed the safe and asked Ross. Ross described the appearance of the attraction fruit ability user he encountered in Holy Land and asked Robin to paint a picture with a 77% similarity and then nodded. He almost looks like this. Okay. Robin put down her pen and looked at the picture and nodded slightly, she left the office with the picture and went to the intelligence department and told her subordinates to investigate the origin of this person. After handing over the hurricane and the nine till devil fruits to Robin and asking her to investigate the attraction ability user, Ross left the Sky Island Burka and landed on the Cake Island. Lord Ross. Today, the Cake Island has completed its base, which is heavily patrolled and has seamless surveillance of Den Den Mushi. When Ross arrived, the guard on patrol saluted him respectfully. The interior of the base is no longer as empty as it once was and it is divided into three areas, the first of which is the medical area. This area is managed solely by Trafalgar Law and he is responsible for the rehabilitation of some of the seriously injured, as well as psychosurgical rehabilitation, captivity tests and the like. The second area is Caesar's lab. Although Caesar is in charge, Trafalgar Law has the control and surveillance of the lab, and the assistants around Caesar are also responsible for monitoring Caesar's every move. Although Caesar's heart is divided and kept separate, no one knows if he will perform any small movements. Such surveillance is also reasonable. As for the last area, the construction of this area is the latest but this area occupies the largest plot of land. It is the clone manufacturing base, which is fully managed by Vinsmoke Reju. After walking forward for a while, Ross met Reju coming out of the base. Lord Ross. Why are you here? Reju saw Ross and greeted him with a smile. I need to talk with Caesar. Ross responded, he paused a little and said, what's going on with the cloning of the army, how many people have you expanded? Reju said. Because of sufficient resources, it has expanded to more than 200 people. That's good. Ross smiled, he stretched his fingers and caressed Reju's cheek and said, keep working. Facing Ross's frivolous behavior, Reju didn't feel any discomfort. Instead, she groaned, and her pink tongue licked the corner of her mouth. Alas! Ross raised Reju's audacity by another level, but now there is a serious matter and he had to find Caesar, and he has no time to hang out with her. Going towards Caesar's experimental area, he opened the door of the laboratory and directly walked in. Who, without knocking, Caesar heard the door pushed open, and he was looking angrily to the rear while holding a few test tubes, but when his eyes saw Ross, the annoyance on his face suddenly turned into a pleasing expression. Ah, it's Lord Ross, you're here. During this time, Caesar was responsible for cooperating with law for physical transformation. It is also not inappropriate to say that the transformation is because his current work is complicated. On the one hand, he had cooperated with Reju to try to further increase the amount of strength and power of those clone soldiers. On the other hand, he cooperates with law to study the physical aspect. Devil Fruit the object you were asked to prepare, are you ready? Ross enters and didn't even look at Caesar and asks pointedly. Caesar breathes a sigh of relief and says, that is already ready. Ross pulled out the cursed blade Marisama hanging from his waist and with a loose finger, the cursed blade Marisama was directly nailed to the ground, while he took out the soul soul fruit with his other hand. After taking out the soul soul fruit and the cursed blade Marisama, Ross stared at Caesar and said, a paramisha devil fruit merging into an object, are you sure it is feasible? A zone devil fruit can be fused into objects, this Ross knows, but he has not seen a paramisha devil fruit getting integrated into the object, 
Caesar told him that it is indeed possible but Ross still holds some reservation. This is indeed feasible. Caesar also knows that the current thing is important to Ross and said solemnly. I have been deeply involved in the study of devil fruit before. Zone devil fruit fusion on an object is an experiment I participated in all the way and paramecia devil fruit fusion. As Caesar said, he pointed to a water glass not far away and said, I did an experiment with paramecia's fruit not long ago, and the experiment was successful. If you're worried, we can do a second test. Ross turned to look at the distant water glass and said with a little surprise, You did experiments with paramecia's fruit? Where did paramecia devil fruit come from? Oh, it was sent some time ago. Your men must have collected it. Caesar says, tilting his head. After a little surprise, Ross returned to peace. He is now a Yonko, four emperors, pirate, with power all over the sea. It is very common for his subordinates to find devil fruits. The ordinary paramecia devil fruit, which is not very valuable, is nothing and can be used in an experiment like this. Like the spring fruit, Ross doesn't think it has many effects. Going towards the water glass, Ross took it off the test bench, and when he touched the cup, he noticed a slight difference in the cup. Although it is different from Zone's fusion object, it becomes a life specific animal, but it also seems to have self life. Ross can reach its consciousness with a thought. Ross controlled the water glass, using the ability of the devil fruit fused with the water glass, and then he saw that the water glass turned into a spring and suddenly fell apart, bouncing in his hands. Spring fruit. The corner of Ross's mouth twitched slightly, he was just thinking about it. The result was really a spring fruit, it seemed that Bellamy had no chance to play at all. It's true after Doflamingo got finished. The spring spring fruit is indeed not a valuable devil fruit. Ross did not feel distressed by the fact that Caesar used it for experiments. Now that the fusion between spring spring fruit and a cup is successful, the fusion of soul soul fruit and the cursed blade, Yoto, Murasama should not fail. Now that you have a successful example, you can start. Ross said to Caesar. Caesar took the soul soul fruit from Ross. When he was about to get the cursed blade Murasama, he suddenly thought of something and said, Lord Ross, when a paramecia devil fruit and an object is being fused. The process is a bit long and it may last for half a month to a month. That's fine. Ross slightly nodded and said, then I'll wait half a month. Compared to the integration of soul soul fruit into the cursed blade Murasama, half a month is nothing. Seeing that Ross nodded, Caesar's anxiety disappeared and he turned to take the cursed blade Murasama. But, almost as soon as his hand touched the handle of the cursed blade Murasama, a violent, will suddenly erupted from the cursed blade Murasama, attacking him as a whole. Kill. Crazy. Blood. Dark. With all kinds of terrifying. Will. Attacking him. Caesar let out a strange cry and immediately released the handle of the blade. The whole person turned into a mass of gas and rolled several circles towards the distance. Then he looked at the cursed blade, Yodo, inserted in the ground. This is, Lord Ross, your cursed blade Murasama. Caesar looked at the cursed blade Murasama with a change of complexion and spoke with fear in his heart. He also has Ross's date here. Ross's sword is one of the twelve Seijo Owazamono Great Grade Sword the cursed blade Murasama, which is now known to everyone in the sea. Cursed blade Murasama has a terrifying legend and its masters in every generation have gone mad and crazy at the end of their life, but to many people, Ross is already crazy to the point of madness and no matter how the blade influence him, he won't go crazier. He and the cursed blade Murasama are a natural pair. I forgot that this blade was not very obedient. Ross saw Caesar's look and frowned. If Caesar can't control the cursed blade Murasama, it will be a bit of trouble to transform it. It's all right. However, Caesar began to calm down and said, It's just a weapon, I'm a genius scientist. Although the cursed blade Murasama is terrible, Caesar is not something to mess with either. In the test base, he has seen many demons, ghosts, or biochemical person, why would he be afraid of a blade? After getting permission from Ross, he quickly restrained the cursed blade Murasama by some means and sent it to the top of a test stand, putting the cursed blade Murasama into a glass vessel. Subsequently, Caesar took the soul soul fruit to the other side of the experimental equipment and tossed the soul soul fruit into a glass, exuding a strange liquid. He pouring the liquid into glassware. Zizi. The liquid touched the cursed blade Murasama and immediately made a noisy sound. If someone looks at it with a magnifying glass, they will see that the liquid is penetrating into the cursed blade Murasama at a slow rate and settling inside the sword edge. 
After Caesar finished, he immediately pulled over a special magnifying glass and stared at the cursed blade Murasama inside the glassware. After a while, he raised his head, showing a frowning expression. What happened? Ross, who hadn't left, came over while looking at the glassware and asked him. Caesar said a bit awkwardly, The material of this blade is a bit special, no, it should be said that the self will on this cursed blade, Yodo, is too strong and it is resisting the fusion of devil fruit a bit. What will happen then? Ross asked invariably. Caesar rubbed his hands and said, The fusion will definitely not fail, but it may take more than half a month to a month, it may take more than a month. Ross asked, What's the longest time? Caesar continued to observe the blade for a while with the magnifying instrument, thinking slightly, It should be no more than three months at the latest. That's good. Hearing that the process would take no more than three months, although Ross frowned slightly, he relaxed quickly. Three months was nothing to him, and Toto Lan needed to stabilize again. He had just attacked the world government, it is inevitable that the world government will try to find some trouble with him. Then I leave it to you. Yes, Caesar responded. It wasn't until Ross was gone that he was relieved, it was okay to face the others, but the pressure Ross as a Yonko, four emperors, excluded was something terrifying to him. Two and a half months passed. During these two and a half months, the world government carried out multiple retaliatory actions. First, they hit some underground forces associated with Toto Land, then smashed a site in West Blue that belonged to the Ghost Hand Pirates and it also began to clear the Ghost Hand Pirates force from West Blue. Ross didn't care. His actions at Holy Land Marijoy has been exposed, and the whole world knows that Holy Land was almost overturned by him. In this case, the world government's shameful revenge operation looks like a cheap shot, naturally, this is the only thing that they can sow. It is obviously impossible for the world government to attack Toto Land. As long as the world government is not coming to the Toto Land sea, Ross is too lazy to pay attention to it. The world government's loss is too big this time. It is normal for Gorosei, five elder stars, to go a little crazy. With the passage of two and a half months, Caesar's mission of combining the cursed blade Murasama and the soul soul fruit was finally completed, and he was relieved and immediately reported to Ross. Ross didn't hesitate, and arrived at the base a moment later. Now, the cursed blade Murasama is quietly lying in the previous glass vessel, and the special liquid in the glass vessel has completely disappeared at this time and is completely absorbed by the cursed blade Murasama. The cursed blade Murasama's blade has a little strange change, with a hint of unreal black shadows and a dusky sheen. The sword itself can reflect light and naturally has its special luster, but the cursed blade Murasama at this time looks different. The light and shadow it emits is not reflected by light, but originated from itself. It is glowing by itself, be careful, this cursed blade, Yodo, is fused with soul soul fruit, and I don't know what the, will, inside of it looks like now. Caesar stood at the side and reminded softly. He has a deep understanding of the violent, will, contained in cursed blade Murasama. After integrating the blade with the soul soul fruit, he is even more afraid to touch it. No one knows how terrible the, will, in this cursed blade, Yodo, will be after its fusion with the soul soul fruit. It is no longer appropriate to say that it's a cursed blade, Yodo. Now it should be called, soul cutting blade, I know. Ross nodded calmly still looking at the handle of cursed blade Murasama. As a dignified Yonko, four emperors, and as the strongest person in the sea today, how could he be afraid of a blade? Even if the, will, of the blade is strong, it is just a sword that will be held in his hands. Buzz. As Ross's hand touched the handle of the blade and he held it in his hand, a strange ghostly, illusory sheen suddenly erupted from the sword edge. This illusory luster does not have any substantial attack power, but it has caused the instability of Ross, power, causing the power of distortion to swing away from Ross's body. The empty space around Ross's body rippled instantly. Splashy. The glassware broke almost instantly, breaking into countless pieces of glass and flying in all directions. Standing nearby, Caesar, too, is distorted by the power of distortion, he loses his head and burst apart. Fortunately, he is a Logia user, and armament hockey did not escape from Ross's body. This knockdown did not hurt him. But, Caesar was scared to death. The cursed blade Murasama has now become a real terrifying cursed blade. Yodo, from the history. If Ross is affected by it and goes crazy, I am afraid that the entire Cake Island will be finished. It's not just the Cake Island, 
The Ghost Hand Pirates will probably be going to end as Fujitora and the rest of them together may not be able to stop the Crazy Ross. Stay, hold on. Caesar crouched in the corner of the laboratory with a look of fear on his face. Kacha. Kacha. The power of distortion stirred up, causing the ground to crack under Ross's feet. Although the structure of this laboratory is not made from sea stone, it is also an extremely strong ore and special alloy, but it still couldn't bear Ross's dissipating power. The test bench in front of Ross was also distorted inch by inch under the dissipated power of distortion as if it had become twisted and it constantly crumbled. Countless experimental equipment was broken, now. Ross could feel that the will inside the cursed blade Murasama was rushing towards him frantically, with a frightening deterrent, and it wanted to make him fear. This is not the will of cursed blade, Yodo, but the ability of soul soul fruit. Once he developed fear, the consequences were undoubtedly unthinkable. But unfortunately, Ross's eyes were calm and indifferent, without any slight fluctuation in them as he stared at the cursed blade Murasama in his hand. If he had just arrived in this world, he might not be able to resist the power of soul soul fruit that incorporated the will of cursed blade, Yodo. But, at this moment, he is one of the Yonko, four emperors, of the sea. He is the world's strongest who defeated Whitebeard. When it comes to will, he doesn't think that many people would be able to beat him. With soul soul fruit, do you think you can retaliate against me? Ross had confronted the will of cursed blade Murasama many times. As early as when he first got the cursed blade Murasama, he fought it many times. Each time the cursed blade Murasama was defeated by his fierce oppression, and it finally obediently surrendered. Now that the soul soul fruit is integrated with it, its will has been increased and with the ability of soul soul fruit, it has begun to rebel again. Buzz. While Ross spoke indifferently, his Haushoku Haki burst out violently and a captivating force broke out, forcing the will of cursed blade Murasama out from his body. At the same time, Ross fully gathered the power of Haushoku Haki onto the sword edge of the cursed blade Murasama and attacked its will with Haushoku Haki. Ding ding. The cursed blade Murasama's blade trembles constantly. Even though the cursed blade, Yodo, had become frightening, even if it has combined with the power of soul soul fruit, under the impact of Ross's Haushoku Haki, it still has no resistance. What a joke. Even Bigmom with soul soul fruit wasn't able to handle Ross. How could a blade surpass Bigmom? It's obviously impossible. Under the strong oppression of Ross's Haushoku Haki, the resistance formed by the will of the cursed blade Murasama collapsed and was forced to be crushed by Ross Haki. What happens if the power of soul soul fruit is defeated? If you are a human, there may not be any strange changes, but the cursed blade Murasama is a blade and it does not have a human body and human will. In the previous confrontation, the cursed blade Murasama was the force that drove soul soul fruit to try to swallow Ross, but the power of soul soul fruit was like a fragile jelly in front of Ross. With a brutal hockey, Ross just crushed the jelly. Because the cursed blade Murasama does not have real consciousness, it is only a withdrawal of cursed blade, Yoto. So after Ross's will slammed into it, his incomplete will was broken up. The will of cursed blade, Yoto, and the power of soul soul fruit are completely broken up, and unknowingly, it has begun to form a subtle connection with Ross's will. Well, Ross was also slightly surprised. At that moment, he felt a strange connection to the cursed blade Murasama in his hand and the blade seemed to become a part of his body, like the fingers on his hand, which can be driven at will. Even he could clearly feel that the power of soul soul fruit contained in cursed blade Murasama can also be inspired by his power. Although he doesn't know what happened, this is obviously a good thing. Uh, Lord Ross. Caesar who had retracted into the corner looks up after the will of the cursed blade had gradually stopped, he looked carefully at Ross. Seeing that Ross was motionless in place, he couldn't help feeling terrified and asked tentatively. Ross did not respond as he was immersed in the feeling of him being completely integrated with the cursed blade Murasama, or that it became a part of himself. Lord Ross? Caesar asked again, seeing that Ross hadn't responded yet, and his heart was a little cold. If Ross is really controlled by the cursed blade, Yodo, then something will happen, not to mention whether he will be killed by Ross, even if Ross doesn't kill him. Law and Lafitte will not let him go. They will crush his heart and he will die. However, in the midst of Caesar's growing fear and he was on the verge of crying, Ross's eyes finally come back to life, as if he had been in a trance for a long time. 
He looked at the damaged test bed and the cracked ground under his feet, then turned to look at Caesar in the corner. Good job. Get Captain Law to repair the damage here. In Caesar's fear, Ross speaks to Caesar. After saying those words, Ross walked out of the laboratory. The newly acquired Cursed Blade Murasama, no, Cursed Blade Soul Cutting Blade was in his hand and he naturally can't wait to play with it. Hearing Ross's words, Caesar was finally relieved, it is indeed impossible for the ghost hand Ross to be controlled by a mere blade. Now that he's done a good job, he knows that he is close to getting his heart back and he may become a direct subordinate of Ross. Leaving Caesar's laboratory, Ross came to the place where the criminals were detained but saying that they were detained criminals were a bit too much as, in fact, most of them were those who were too brave and invaded Totolansi. Those who were left after being slaughtered by Shilyu of the Rain were used as Law's test props. It is, ghost hand. When Ross showed up, a lot of criminals showed their fear. Some of them come here thinking that Ross didn't deserve his Yonko, four emperors, title and he wasn't that strong and was only a lawless pirate, but the result was that they couldn't even defeat a division captain of the ghost hand pirates and their defeat was devastating. Naturally. There are also those who are not afraid of Ross, and they looked at Ross with eyes filled with anger. Ross came to a fearless person and took out the cursed blade, Yodo, he didn't ask, what are you looking at, he raised his hand and stabbed the blade into that person's body. The man apparently didn't expect Ross to start hacking people, his face suddenly changed, but because he was shackled and tortured there, there was no room for him to move, he could only watch as the sharp blade cut across. But, Ross's sword didn't cut him, but passed him sweeping the space and splitting the cage in two. E.H. This is, some of the people in the cage next to him looked over in disbelief, their faces changing as they wondered what Ross was going to do. The prisoner in front of Ross, though he was not struck by the blade, something rises from his body in a weird, soul-like mass. Sure enough, there was a trace of a smile on Ross's mouth, and cursed blade Murasama in his hand waved again. See. This one swept straight through the strange mass, cutting it open in an instant, and at the same time the prisoner's eyes turned white and he fell back. This is one of Soul Soul Fruit's abilities. Soul Pocus, B-I-G-M-O-M -M, used this ability to speak directly to the human soul's attachment to life, while striking fear into her opponent. She will demand that the person either give her what she desires or gives her their lifespan. If the person fears death for even a moment, Big Mom will be able to take their lifespan in any amount that she chooses. She can even take a person's entire remaining lifespan, instantly killing them. Once the fear appears, the lifespan will be overflowed with what is visible to the naked eye and will be stripped by the will of the Soul Soul Fruit user. The Cursed Blade, which combines with the Soul Soul Fruit and turns into the Soul Cutting Blade, naturally has this ability. Okay. Ross took a look at the life, or soul, that was around the Cursed Blade and after some time, he swung his sword. Under the control of Ross, the soul flew into a prison cage and merged with the cage, which also emitted light and underwent weird changes. When the light is gone, eyes and mouth appeared on the cage. Boss. When the cage came alive, he became a living cage and spoke respectfully to Ross. Obviously, while possessing the ability to strip soul and life, Ross also has the same ability to make homies as B.I.G.M.O.M. did, giving life to something that isn't alive. What? The cage is alive. Several prisoners in the cage screamed strangely, watching the cage that had suddenly become alive, they looked at the talking cage, showing a bit of fright. Ross stared at the cursed blade Murasama for a few seconds, and then glanced at the living cage. Keep an eye on them, don't let the prisoners escape. Yes, boss, the cage responded respectfully to Ross. The existence of homies will be determined by the personality of the soul soul fruit user. Ross's personality is calm and the homies created will also possess this trait. It looks like Soul Soul Fruit, no, Cursed Blade Murasama's, will, has become a part of me and had completely turned into my vassal. Ross murmured as he looked at the Cursed Blade Murasama in his hand. He has also noticed that it is not simply a sword with the ability to eat devil fruit, but it is him with a situation similar to eating double devil fruits. However, the power of Soul Soul Fruit is completely attached to the Cursed Blade, Yodo, it will not increase or weaken and is completely fixed by Cursed Blade Murasama. This was obviously something Ross was happy to see. The Cursed Blade Murasama that obeyed his orders and the Cursed Blade Murasama which became a part of himself were clearly different. If it was the former case, then the Cursed Blade Murasama can be taken away by others, 
As long as others can suppress Cursed Blade Murasama, they can use the ability of Cursed Blade Murasama. But now, even if other people take Cursed Blade Murasama, they will not be able to use its ability. Unless Ross is killed, the owner of Cursed Blade Murasama is only one, that is Ross. After confirming this, Ross looked at the prisoners in the cage and experimented, he stripped them of their souls and gave the souls to the cages and chains. During this process, Ross also gradually discovered the essence of homies. The essence of homies is life. He stripped off a prisoner's 30-year lifespan, which would give the cage 30 years of life, or evenly distributed to the two cages, each of which would have 15 years of life. This kind of lifespan does not come out of thin air, it does not become more or less, it is a kind of transfer of soul. And by this time, Ross had some inkling of why the retrograde fruit, the fruit that causes the body to age backward, was not so valuable. In this world, the lifespan of a person is related to the soul. The regressive fruit can only regress the body, but it cannot prolong the real life of the soul. Even if an old man were to regress to a few years, he would still die due to the exhaustion of his life. Only the surgeon surgeon fruit can really extend someone's life. Yes. Not even soul soul fruit can extend someone's life. Soul soul fruit can strip other people's lives, but it can't be integrated into living things. Ross can't extend his life by depriving others of theirs. Soul incarnation. Ross said after doing several experiments with taking someone's soul, he began to study another ability of soul soul fruit, that is, the ability to make his own soul incarnation. Soul is related to longevity, but it is an exception for the soul soul fruit user. Making his own soul incarnation does not need to deprive Ross of his life. Ross recalls that Bigmom's soul incarnation can be more than one or two. Those things that collect life in Cake Island every day are also Bigmom's soul incarnation. There is no doubt that those things can also produce high-level homies like Zeus and Prometheus. In this case, Soul Soul Fruit is indeed an extremely powerful devil fruit. If Bigmom produces homies with hurricane, ice, and other elements, it would be almost like taking charge of endless natural disasters with one person's power. Just think. Wherever Bigmom went, thunder, howling flames, hurricanes, and frozen winds, and various elements will interweave and collide. I am afraid she would have been the strongest Yonko, four emperors, or even the pirate king. You must know that high level homies, such as Zeus and Prometheus, are full of power, and their power is close to the level of three disasters, and they are immortal. After all, Bigmom is just a creature born with a body like a monster. In many ways, she does not have the will of a real emperor, because she does not walk to the top one step at a time with her own efforts. If the soul soul fruit was in the hands of Whitebeard and Red Hair Shanks, they would have been more powerful than Bigmom.